power. Hello, uh, hello, Bob. How are you? And of course, Double M has to continue his streak. I think at this point we all know that that is uh, that is yours. Like, like you understand that, right? Like we all know that that is yours. Um, normally I would say that. However, Queeb wants to eventually move around so he starts at six so we're we're slowly moving it back and we will get there eventually eventually he will not be here at six but he's gonna be earlier so yeah um we're trying to be responsible adults damn it how is uh how are both of you guys how was your your um christmas eve eve how has it been? Uh, ours has been rainy AF. If you are on the West Coast, it is very rainy. Um, yeah. Super. Uh, and Ripley, of course, has not moved because um, that is that's too much of a mental load for me to handle right now. So she's going to stay there. <laughs> Hi, Stahl. How are you? Yeah, so we've got uh, Miss Ripley still in her tank. Just, you know, jamming out. Some, sometimes that's what you gotta do. Uh, Archimedes, little baby Archie, he ate today. I'm very stoked. Um, he... So normally I can tell when the snakes are going to eat or when they want to eat by the way that they move in the tank, like... You guys have seen Huxley. Ripley, where are you going? I'm going back in my house. Um, normally, when you guys see them, it's because they're like moving around and they display this behavior called, I'm using quotey fingers, hunting. And it just means that they're, they're literally just like slithering around their tanks. Like it looks like they're looking for something. They're looking for food. It's instinctual. Um, so whenever they do that, I will bring that snake out. That way Queep gets to see it and you guys get to see it. Um, and then we put it back and then like the next day we'll feed them um, because ball pythons are really picky. So we want to make sure that they're actually hungry, hungry and not just like, you know, well, I'm all hungry uh, because then you uh, you end up wasting rats, which I have wasted a good many. Um, Archie did not do that, but I don't think he knows how to. He's very small. He, he's very small. Uh, when we weighed him, he was 150 grams. Very tiny. No, 115. I'm sorry. He's 115 grams. Um, and so he basically sat near where his plate normally goes. Well, the one time. So I tried it. He ate. I have the video. It's super cute. He's a little baby. I just won't give him kisses, but then he would hiss at me. Hi, Rusty. It's already Christmas time in Germany. Ah, uh, you know what? Had a bit of a day. I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, we, I try to do our Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. And I got really overwhelmed, having kind of a day. So I'm like, you know what? 
we're this year we're going to be normal people we will celebrate christmas dinner on christmas day it's fine um it didn't help that i had to go out in public and deal with with bitches today that's for damn sure tomorrow is my christmas because that is when my family can do it very nice i i got into the habit of doing it the day before uh, because i'm impatient I mean, I, I didn't really grow up with Christmas, uh, so it's not like I was married to the day anyway, but, you know, it's or it, it's one day earlier on food and presents, and then that way we can kind of sleep in on Christmas Day and do whatever. And... Rusty Mugs, hello, how are you, my friend? I hope everyone's doing good. We're on day... <sighs> day 23. We got, what, a week left? A week and a day left. A week and a day left before uh, the last day. And we are two days out from Isaac, or from Noita, excuse me. People keep coming in, asking for it. Are they crazy? But Noita will be here December 25th. That is your Christmas present because you have behaved all year long. Thank you so much for that. Uh, game of the day, we will do hints. Um, so normally we would do hints at 6.30, but since we're starting early, we'll probably do hints at 6. Um, yeah, so we've got about 20 minutes or so before we do hints. You have enough time to switch out laundry, start a new load of laundry. Maybe put one of those like frozen little chicken pot pie things in the oven. They're pretty good. You could put one in there. Tired but already sleepy. My daily three hours. Already slept my three hours, so I'm in. Very nice, Rusty. Very nice. Um, I am probably going to take a nap before I go to sleep tonight. I didn't sleep very well last night at all. It was very odd. Um, and because it's raining here, like the dogs are keyed up, so I just feel very agitated. You know how it is. So far, we've hit 603 subs. Which means we just did the giveaway. And could we make it to 650 today? I would like us to hit 650 today. In fact, I would like us to hit 700, like, tomorrow. And I absolutely for sure think that we could hit, um, hit 1,000 before the end of this month because I'd like to give something else away. I had to, we well, didn't have to, I did. I mailed out the, um, the S, the Super NES classic to the winner and everyone in the shop where I mailed it, they were like, wait, what, what is that? Where did you get it? Oh, tell him to hook me up. Like they were very stoked. Um, Super stoked, which was kind of nice. Um, super sweet, guys. Yeah. I almost, uh, she has to be looking at the the thing. You know what I'm talking about, the, the little heating element. She's fascinated and, but here, back up. Here's why I don't know, because she only comes out whenever the light is on. So I don't know if she's begging for food. No clue. It's super cute, though. Uh, what else? Oh, someone had asked if we had seen... They asked yesterday. I completely blanked. They asked yesterday if we had seen the new Spider-Man. No, we have not. Please do not spoil me at all. Like, not even any, like, cutesy little hints. I'm a little pressed. Like a fucking panini that I can't go to the theater to see it. Um, so we're going to try to keep the channel spoiler free. When is it available online? Tell me. Spider-Man No Way Home Movie Online.com. <laughs> Just 
strange. Here's when you can stream Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, tell me. I'm, I'm excited to know. I'm reading. <laughs> It hasn't been announced. What? No, that That is entirely incorrect. So it hasn't been announced as to when it's going to stream. And it's a, and this is per Yahoo News. I don't know how valid this is. When or while Sony and Disney haven't announced when Spider-Man will be on Disney Plus, the movie isn't expected to stream on the service till 2023. Fuck you. The movie will be first available to stream on Stars, which has first pay window rights to Sony movies. The deal allows Stars to stream Sony movies for 18 months after the film's release in theaters. So, do, so w does that mean it will be on Stars? Like, it's a it's a simple question: When will Spider-Man be streaming? Like, that's the question. You know what the answer is? Like, like a date. It. Queep said the answer is it's now streaming and cinemas everywhere. They don't care about your health. And that is correct. Did you hear about the thing with Colorado? Like the the governor doesn't really care. He's not doing another lockdown. He was very snotty about it, which to be fair, we're going into uh, year three. So I understand. My sister tried to spoil it for me. She saw it at release and has been trying to drop little hints. So I've been up what I I would quite literally cut someone out of my life if they spoiled a movie for me. It's not, it's not funny. It's not cute. It's not quirky. It doesn't make you the main character. Like it's, it's just so stupid. The movie will be available to stream on Star sometime between December. <laughs> The, the movie will be available to stream on Stars sometime between December 2021 and July 2023. Fuck you, you stupid asshole. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see your link synergy links, you motherfucker. You're not getting a single affiliated dime from me. Fuck tar, Jesus. What the? And it just it keeps going on and on like, oh. Amazon Prime is currently offering a seven day free trial of stars. In addition to its own streaming service, th it, this article is littered with affiliate links. Kat, hi, how are you? Um, technically yes, but technically no. We are supposed to have, like Queeb should be streaming at six. That is what he's always wanted to do. And we're trying to slowly work our way back. Um, yeah, so kind of yes, kind of no. Hi, Bylem. How are you? If you're just joining, hi, hello. My name is Ms. Queeb. Uh, we're doing Queebvent, Queebmas, Queebtacular, Extravaganza, Variety Hour. <laughs> um, you have about 15, 20 minutes before I start doing hints for today's game of the day. Um, yeah. It is, uh, I think it's interesting. I think it's super cool looking. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys are going to think. I don't think I, people liked yesterday's game. It did get a, a few complaints saying that it was a little hard to watch. It was a little confusing. I get it doing good so far it's 1 44 christmas eve morning for me i'm <laughs> from the future welcome by limb from the future uh hopefully things are cool in the future hopefully things are, are much better than they are now what are you guys doing for christmas like are you guys going somewhere like 
to hang out with family? Is anybody doing what we're doing and just hanging out? Like we're, we're literally doing nothing. In fact, I'm kind of shocked that Queeb hasn't uh, suggested that we do like a, we start our Christmas stream early, like starting it at like one or two or something. I'm, I'm a little shocked he hasn't, but that doesn't mean anything. I think you're in Australia, New Zealand then. One of my in-laws after finishing final. Oh. That has got to suck. I know from personal experience, I was always volunteered. Please note the wording. I was volunteered. Uh, basically, I was voluntold that I was going to be showing up. It's always just a pain in my ass. Yeah, my dad's house going to be here for a bit before booking my flight back. Hi, Nerman. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for, for joining and hanging out with us. I'm going to get steaming drunk because I have nothing else. You know what, Rusty? If I drank, I probably would too. I like my in-laws and honestly would rather see them than my anti-vax mother. So preach. Absolutely preach. Um... I, I am doing my best to stay optimistic with all of the, uh, the, the positives coming back up again. So I'm just, even if we were invited somewhere, even if we normally did hang out with family, we would not be going. I, mm -mm. no, I've, I have put my life on hold for basically almost two years, like a year and a half almost two years, um, and I have not gotten sick. If I got sick after this point, I'd be so mad. A friend of mine, she has been vigilant the last two years. Um, she was extremely lucky in that she was able to catch a, fl I catch a, a flight on a private plane, like a friend of a friend of a friend, basically. Um, so she could go to her partner's house this Christmas and uh, they did it for safety because she's uh, immunocompromised. It turns out there was a, uh, a kid on the plane with them and, and they got, they uh, tested positive the day after touchdown. <laughs> like, <right. laughs> She won't even double check. She has all of her jobs. So she... You know what? I, we're we're almost two years in. I, especially because I I literally just lost. Like, I I have two extremely close friends, and one of them died from COVID. He did not get vaccinated, even though his wife was a nurse and she was vaccinated, and he refused. Um. Like, like at this point, I'm just, I'm so fed up. Like if you're not vaccinated, don't even tell me because I will like, I will ban, I will eject, I don't care. It's three years. It's three years not eating out, not visiting family, not going and doing stuff. And I know sometimes people are like, well, you could, you could do that stuff. No, 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 I can't because people go to these places and they lie about being vaccinated or they don't wear a mask. And, and now we, we are exactly where, where we have been. It's a new reality. And it's a very, very sad. Didn't visit family last year, but I'll be visiting briefly this year because my Siri, that is, I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope she does make it. I, I hope things get better for her very quickly and i hope you do get more time and i hope you are safe super safe some promises of no getting a vaccine see i just 
I, I don't feel safe. We haven't, we have been doing takeout. Um, and I go to the, the, the market every week and, uh, but we haven't actually like gone out and sat down and, and took our masks off and ate at a restaurant. I've been kind of following before I say this. Yes, I understand Chili's is not the only restaurant doing it. It's probably most restaurants. You know, whatever. Um, Billy's had like a big stink earlier this year because uh, they were making uh, positives go to work and, and work. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Back since it was released for my age. Yes, Rusty, that's how we are. Like, we're, we've been. I wanted to get it done before they have, do you remember like the lists that they had? They, I don't know if they have them anywhere else. They put out wait lists for people here in uh, LA County where you could, uh, because they were running through them, uh, they, they would basically have to throw out the ones that people didn't show up to take. They would have to throw out the vaccines for it. And you could get on waiting lists, got on waiting lists, try to get vaccine, vaccinated, couldn't do it. I got really pissed off um, and we, we held off on doing it for a while, mainly because I knew what it was going to be, which is I was going to get sick. I was still going to have to do everything I do already every single day, except now be sick. First shot, I was sick. Second shot, I wasn't. Third shot, people keep telling me that, uh, that it's it's gonna it's gonna suck and I'm just not looking forward to it. I think the earliest I can get it is January, I think. Isn't it like six months? I think so. Did you end up forcing sick people into work? Absolutely. Like just absolutely. But of course, it's not. They don't care. And Chili's is one of those restaurants. They do ghost kitchens, or they are a ghost kitchen. Um, so they were running other stuff out of their kitchen, and their workers are basically doing like four to five jobs at a time. Um, yeah, so uh, we have not eaten there. I know other restaurants are probably doing that. They're just not as vocal um, about what's going on. Like, I get it. It just sucks. You know how it is. Um, did you listen to Home Free? No, but... Wait, wait, did I? Please hold. I've I've had to reboot a few times from that day don't you hate it when that happens <gasps> no i did i listened to this i thought it was amazing i mean it's not actual kenny rogers but it was still really good i did pfizer pfizer moderna moderna booster wasn't so bad i've heard that Doing the Moderna booster isn't isn't terrible, and then it it's better, especially if you've had Pfizer. So I'm not sure. I can't get my booster for 24 more days. My house is oh rusty. I'm so sorry. What's a ghost kitchen? So a ghost kitchen is where it, it's all, they're also called pop up kitchens. Do you know the the restaurant that uh, Mr. Beast? has or had same thing with uh with a few others so basically what they do is um they contract with a restaurant buca de beppo is another place that runs a lot out of them so let's say that i was extremely rich or, or had a lot of connections and i could um i could work with a uh, a chain right and I tell them, hey, I, I think I want uh, I want a beef jerky restaurant. I want a beef jerky restaurant. I think that'd be cool. Let's do that. So what they would do is they would contract like whatever company I'm I'm with, 
they would see what restaurants they have in that area that aren't maybe doing so well or they're doing well and they just want to make more money. What they would do is they would train those workers to make the items on my menu as well. And they would run both the original restaurant and my quote unquote restaurant out of that same kitchen. So you wouldn't be able to go sit down at my restaurant. You wouldn't be able to pick up food at my restaurant, but you could go to DoorDash. You could get it delivered. They're everywhere. Um, let me see. I think it's like Ghost Kitchen Brands. Top four ghost kitchen. Yes, we know about the bottle. Cloud kitchen, where is it? Like one that they tend to do are um wings like wings have been really that's that's been a big thing and in fact like i guess you could say like pizza hut maybe is kind of like the first place to the first popular place to do quote unquote ghost kitchens because they would do it was always like a pizza hut wing stop combo and so it's not two separate restaurants right like it, it's everything's run out of one place everyone is doing uh multiple jobs so it's, it's a lot of work on the workers. They generally do not get paid extra. And at least in the case of Chili's, I'm not sure about other restaurants, but in the case of Chili's wait staff, they will sometimes get pulled to do the hostess position. And the hostess position is equal pay as, as like wait staff, but they have to do all of the, the hostess work and they do the takeout orders for the same pay. But like there there is no bonus or anything like that. You don't get any sort of um, incentive except if you want to keep your job. So like um, as a result of learning this, we haven't eaten at Chili's in over a year because Chili's has been like a huge a huge, a huge uh, perpetrator of this. Had my Moderna all three times the booster kicked my butt just, oh, that's awful. I'm sorry, by limb. Both my mom and dad had COVID out of quarantine last Thursday or Friday. I, I think, I think my mother has it. I think um, she mentions that she is sick, but she won't like give details. And I think she's not giving details because she knows I'm going to jump on her ass. Um, I suspect that my aunt, the one who uh, my aunt died like two days after Thanksgiving. I suspect she had COVID and that's when my mom got it. So it's just. I, 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 ah, uh, it, it's so frustrating because I understand, like, I am so bored. Like, I am someone who deals with her, uh, her ADHD and her depression by, like, going out and, uh, being around people and, like, like, mall walking was a huge one and just, like, going somewhere and just walking and just, like, being around people and just, you know. So not being able to do that, being stuck in the house has just been a fucking nightmare. Thank you, Bylem. It's it's been a rough one. It's been a rough one. Um and I think she's uh I think my mother is definitely scared of the I told you so conversation, which to be fair, I I wouldn't give her because I know she's not gonna listen. And that has been the biggest takeaway of the last couple of years of me working on myself. If look, if I know that my 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 
my hard work of trying to persuade you to do something, if I know it's not going to work, I'm just not going to do it anymore. You're, you're a grown ass adult. If, if it, look, if, if we're, every time we have a conversation, you're going to bring up Obama or bring up how amazing Trump is. Guess what? We're not going to have those conversations anymore because you're obviously a fucking idiot. Like, like that's all it comes down to. You're an idiot. It seems so unethical for them to do. You would think so. You would absolutely think so. Um, there is, oh, sh yeah, what's it called? Hold on, let me, it's like, Alex, Alex, Bills, Bills the team? Alex, is that it? Alex spills the tea? No, fuck. Okay, so let's do this. It's, I know they use hashtag expose the pepper, which that's such a cute. Alex serves tea, my apologies. So on TikTok, I'm gonna link her in chat. If you guys are interested in looking into that, um, Alex serves tea. She has, uh, she used to work for Chili's and people started sending her uh, screenshots and photos of uh, ways that Chili's has been violating policy and, and doing illegal shit. She's been going public with it. As a result, Chili's has been trying to get her account shut down. It's like, like tons of shit right she's working with a lawyer and they're gonna do like a class action lawsuit it's like a huge thing it's really interesting um this account it's mostly based on chilies but she does have people talking about other restaurants so generally whenever another restaurant is mentioned and has a lot of um traction i'll just it's not like i i go to these have the ability to go to these places anyway at the very most it's like maybe stop and get something for takeout but i'll just eliminate them from the list i just joined in and i have to interject without knowing anything i told you so what what, what did you tell me oh lordy i i don't think she is but i i don't think she understands if that makes any sense she's not um I, I don't I, I don't know how to explain it like like she's she obviously is sentient enough to be able to take care of herself and pay her bills and live on her own but some of the shit out of her mouth is just like I finally had to have a, a conversation with her like before summer I think and she has turned from random like Republican Democrat to Trump everybody else. And so like, I know it was, it was this year. I know it was before summer. And she said something like, oh, your, your boy is increasing taxes. And whenever she says that, I know she's talking about, you know, Joe Byron. I know she's talking about him. And um, I, I had to say, I love you, but we are not going, going to have these conversations anymore. We will not be talking about politics. We're not going to do it. And instead of dragging it out, she said, okay. So I'm like, oh, fantastic. Feeling myself with depression, the days I get a good mental health shows you how much I should really be in not in exactly stall. Like it's, it, it's, I think right now it's December 23rd. I haven't had knock on everything wood, including my head. I haven't had an actual bout of depression. Like I've had depressing moments, but this is the first year in a very long time that I haven't actually had seasonal depression. And I'm very much, um, like taking it day by day. I've talked about grief naps before. I've talked about pity naps or anger naps. Like I will quite literally, if I feel that mood coming on, I will go to bed. And I don't care if that's like my fourth nap of the day, I will do it. Um, and it's helped. 
Um, and the more, the more days I have without depression, the better I feel and the easier it is to deal with those. I don't think it's allowed me. Okay. I honestly couldn't tell you, Rusty. It might not be a thing over there. I know. I mean, it's the UK. Like everything here is just so capitalist and they don't really care about the country's citizens. And it's like, it's a, it's a whole thing. Been learning to just shut up and let people have their own beliefs instead of trying to fight them, get an, up in arms about shit. I won't change by getting up in arms about. Exactly, Heavenly. Like it, it's, you, you put yourself in this position where you realize how much time you've wasted. And on your end, you haven't really wasted it. You've been explaining your ideals and whatnot, but then it's just, it's not sinking in. Like, I hate the expression, you you can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I fucking hate that expression to like my core, but it is so absolutely goddamn true. You can't. Um, so now my policy is I, I'll speak my truth. I don't, I won't preach or anything like that. If someone says, um, if they, if they ask questions about something like about a political topic, yeah, I absolutely will have a discussion with them. I'm not going to change their mind. Certain people are off limits. Like my mother completely off limits. I will not have a political discussion with her. Like at all. I can't, I can't do it. Um, I'm pretty sure if she started saying things like, oh, Trump is the real president, he's coming back and you don't even know, I, I would absolutely kick her out like 4,000%. Oh, there she is again, Heavenly. <laughs> um, whenever I, uh, because I, I came in to feed Archie today and uh both her and murphy came out they're like what what you got over there what's going on <laughs> like they ate on monday yeah they ate on monday and they were they were acting like they were starving it's like no 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 you're not we're not doing this you eat once a week my wife has told me that if i mention politics at all unless my father-in-law does first i'm on time that's understandable that's completely understandable um and I think that it it depends on the situation as to whether or not it would, at least I would consider it offensive. Like, if if the the rare occasion happened and I actually had a conversation with my sibling and they told me that, like, hey, if you if you mention politics first, unless our our mother does it, then you're on a timeout. I would absolutely agree because there are arguments you will not win because winning implies that both sides are using the same amount of logic, if not more, like at least like an ethical win in my book. Um, and that's not something that's going to happen with her. I mean, she's 64, 65, and she's still acting like this. So, you know, just kind of a lost cause. Bed is absolutely love. I had a goal for this year. I didn't reach it. My goal was to like completely upgrade my bed, like nice, comfy mattress, the linen sheets, the cooling sheets. Like I wanted it to be pimped the fuck out. It didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen soon. That's that. That's what I want. I want like I want a functional bed frame that isn't falling apart. A wonderful mattress and a box spring. No squeaks, please. If if I like. If it squeaks when I get out of the bed, what is the fucking point? I feel like rational political discussion is fine, but it's becoming increasingly rare thing. You are absolutely right, Heiner. Absolutely. One of the reasons of the US. Like, it's just... I know that you guys are cool because you're in this chat, and that, that sounds very arrogant, but, I mean, gaming is kind of not really something a lot of... Republicans are into, at least from what I've seen openly. Um, 
So just the fact that you're here and the fact that we're having a we're we're having a discussion and nobody has screamed at anybody yet. I mean that's that's kind of a big deal. Um Yeah, and I think I think anyone in this chat would be able to have that sort of conversation or at least be a part of it. Issue with American politics though is that it's so polarized because you're on a sports team rather than Absolutely. Um, in the last year, my attitude has changed. I used to identify as a Democrat, and then I kind of switched to an independent. And now we're about to go into 2022, and I fully realize that it, it's literally the left and the right is just the left wing and the right wing of the same bird. It's all the same thing. It's just to keep us divided. And ever since I realized that, and I just... I understood that i feel so much better i don't feel like i'm being pulled i feel i feel a lot more hopelessness sometimes because it doesn't feel like like there's a a, a monitor on the playground and and kids are just beating each other up on the monkey bars iver03 hi this is ms queeb i'm married to mcqueeb he's getting ready for you right now he wants to see your beautiful face so if you can wait like five to 10 minutes, he should be here. But I'm just kind of keeping the seat warm. What's your opinion on Brexit? JK, Brexit just sucks. You know what? I normally don't have anything against squeaky things. I, I, don't, I don't have anything against it, but whenever I'm trying to be quiet, and like get out of bed even to just go get some water or even to go pee and it's just like it literally sounds like we're having sex it's that bad it's just it's old it's horrible he's absolutely doing his beard and makeup um brexit was never going to be a good idea i can't comment on the brexit stuff because i haven't been keeping abreast of it but you 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 guys know that well not niche games like McQueen plays. That is very true. Hi, Norman. Find fascinating about depression. You always learn something how to deal with yourself over the years. How could others know how to treat you if you don't know it yourself? Yes, Stahl is correct. 100 points to Stahl if I could give him 100 points. I think with everybody, everybody kind of has their own brand of depression. Like, they they not only like they know how it affects them and they know how to combat it. Never identify as a political party. I've had a discussion with someone who moved to Canada, wondering if they're NDP. Isn't it great now you can hide embarrassing stuff like going? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, hi, I've read no commands. I think he turned them off. Someone was asking for a list of commands. It wasn't coming up when he did the command. Okay, it has been disabled, said Queeb. All right, we are at 614. Let's go ahead and do some hints. Well, I'll have to repeat them anyway. That's fine. All right. Game of the day. Let me pull up my little window window. Uh, what happened? There it is. All right. As you know, every day we have a game of the day. Queeb does not know it. I know it. You don't know it. And Queeb doesn't know it. Like, I feel, I feel like, like a game master person thing. That's what I feel like. I have all this power. Okay, so number one, you already know the thumbnail is fire. The thumbnail is amazing. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Mwah. Love it. Oh, thank you, cat. Mwah. Thank you so much. Number two, this game is. Uh, it's a few years old. It, it's been out for a while. We've got. Eh, well over. 10,000 reviews, so, and they're all very positive. Well, most of them. 
overwhelmingly. Very positive. For the tags, we've got pixel graphics. Great soundtrack. I love it when they, they just say, oh, it's a great soundtrack. Like, that's the tag. That's like a brand saying that they're like the number one best brand or best tasting. Like, you, you can't say that. You don't have to make that claim. Atmospheric. Adventure. Difficult. <laughs> Quoop said it sounds like every other game. Indie, action, single player, pack and slash, exploration, RPG, 2D. And he's right. This, These are, for the most part, these are tags that we usually have. Even action, RPG, fantasy, sci-fi. Um, so a couple of different tags we have this time are going to be post-apocalyptic. Metroidvania, which we've had that tag three times before. Actually, like last week, we had it three times in a week. Souls like. Hi, Ed. How are you? Uh, sci fi fantasy. Oh, and top down. Top down. Okay. So the. Screenshots look, uh, yeah, they, 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 they look pixelated. Like they're very dense, very colorful, very pixelated. Oh, uh, let me see what I can give for the... Oh, you kissing my hat? Thank you. I forgot I still have my hat on. Whoops. Sounds great, but no idea. Maybe something I have to buy since it's so slight. You know, we've only had... This is the third that we have had that has had the Souls-like tag. It's not a tag that comes up. And same thing with Metroidvania. There are tags that don't really come up. Now, again, we've gone over this many times. These tags are sometimes not accurate sometimes it, they emphasize something that shouldn't be emphasized we don't know the ratio of how many um you know how many people said that a, a game was a horror game when it shouldn't be but ba based on our knowledge that we have right now hi Kweeb. Give me a moment. I'm currently reading the description to see if there's any anything I can give away. By the way, right now, just in general, it looks like I have Dead Cells, Death Store, Ender Lilies, Blasphemous, Immortal Planet. I'm going to say right now, I haven't looked up any of those games. Oh, and Divine Divinity. I haven't looked up any of those games to see if they're similar, but it's none of those. So that way we can, it's, it's nothing that has been mentioned yet. All right. What do you got? What do you got? Start over. <laughs> I told you. I know, but I do want to, we're starting to get people to come in. I wanted to give them uh, a heads up because they're my people and I want them to guess it before you guess it. What's wrong with that? Um, okay. the thumbnail is beautiful. It, it like this thumbnail, it, it screams Miss Queeb. Absolutely. Uh, we've got well over 10,000 very positive reviews on Steam. Screenshots are beautiful. They're very dense, very colorful. They are pixelated. So like pixely is, is kind of the thing here. Then we have the tags. I'm just going to read them from uh, top to bottom, it just says popular user defined. I'm assuming these are in order, but I can't tell you because I don't know. Uh, we have Heinerman. It is, I think I said a few years. It's uh, around five years old. So. <laughs> Relatively speaking, it is new, but you know how it is, especially with this so being not, an indie game. Not blasphem blasphemous, then for sure. Yeah. All right. Here are the tags we have. P 
pixel graphics, by far pixel graphics, great soundtrack, atmospheric, adventure, difficult, indie, action, single player, hack and slash, exploration, RPG, 2D, colorful, post-apocalyptic, Colorful Top. definitely rules out Salt and Sanctuary. <laughs> uh, apocalypse Top Down, Action RPG, Fantasy, Metroidvania, Sci Fi, and Souls Like. So, a bunch of people are mentioning Blasphemous. Please hold and I will see how it compares. It is not that. Um, hold on and let me. I don't even remember if I put Blasphemous on the list. Oh, I... um, yeah, maybe I did. So hmm. just looking at these screenshots, it, it looks similar, like in, in terms of like being pixelated and it, they are very dense. This is a very colorful game, or at least rather the screenshots of the game are and the thumbnail is like super bright, almost neon looking. Um, and it that does parlay into the... Um, into the actual screenshots of the game. Like it is a very vibrant game. This one, uh, Blasphemous is a brutal action performer, action platformer. Let me look at the tag. So the tags for Blasphemous also include gore, violent, dark fantasy, indie, blood, horror, gothic. Oh, and nudity and side scroller. Um, so yeah, so this, is not like that this it, it it doesn't have any of the horror or gore or violent tags but it looks beautiful it looks beautiful it's not hollow night night again colorful well i mean some sections i guess but mom momadora i didn't heard of that path of exile comes to mind but it's not quite right Heinerman with the Enter the Gungeon. I'm going to put a check mark on my list. You're probably like, it's been mentioned at least a dozen times. And, and now I think that I, I need to slip it in in the last 10 days. Seven days, seven days, seven days, seven days. Uh, Path of Exile. Nah, we ain't playing P POE. Mm -mm. Is it a bad game? It's not, not for me. I'm not willing to learn it. It's a lot, lot like complicated Diablo. This Momodora looks uh, very colorful. Looks pretty fun. The Path of Exile. Holy shit, it has that many reviews? It's a free-to-play game. Oh, I had no idea. For reference, it has 175,000 reviews. And it, they're very positive. Ah, uh, Starbound. Enter the Gungeon. CK says Hyper Light Drifter. Light Drifter. Blasphemous is not vibrant. Cat Template says Moonlighter. I remember Moonlighter being on the list. I don't know if you selected or not. Moonlighter. I cannot say if I have selected it or not. We still have a week. It's true. It's top down. Oh, it's an action RPG with rogue light elements. Oh, it's cute. Wait, is this the one where you run a store? Or is that Graveyard Keeper? Are you talking about Moonlighter? Hmm. It looks like you run a store. So you go out at night and you hunt whatever. You, you've played this. Mm -mm. Are you sure? Maybe I played it. Maybe not on stream. I don't remember. I, I remember you playing this because, like... Uh, this looks yeah. like Children of Morta. That might be what you're thinking of. I don't think so. Please hold. No, I remember, like, those graphics. Please hold. Children of Morta. No. Uh-uh. Moonlighter. I don't remember playing it. I, th I have it, for sure. Mm -hmm. oh, There's a bunch of DLC which is currently on sale. You fucks. <laughs> that looks kind of cute. Wait, Children of Mortis 
Same, it's the same developer. There you go. That's why. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, Hyperlight Drifter. It does. It's very neon esque. It's top down. I don't know. I don't know. Should we? Should we unveil? Let's do it. Hollow Knight. Oh, that looks cute. Hollow Knight's amazing. We're all we're all waiting for the sequel. Is Neon Abyss top down? It's not, right? No. No, that is a a side scrolling platformer. Is it side scroll? Yeah. yeah. The, no, no. Does side scrolling only mean like scrolling to the side, or does it also mean like scrolling up? It's a side view. Okay. Hyper Thank Light you Drifter. Me. Ba, ba, ba. That was a uh, CK. CK got it, right? CK won 1100. CK 1100. Congratulations. You have bested Queeb. You get absolutely nothing except my thank you. All right, I'll update the the what? The Queen event calendar. Tromk says side scroller just means it's 2D. Well, no, not necessarily. Think of think of Mario when when you're talking about side scroller. Classic okay. Mario. Did you also guess Hyperlight Drifter? Me? Yeah. Mm -mm, no. I mean, I remember you reading the tags, and you're like, "Oh, it sounds like it could be that," but it wasn't an actual guess. Mm -mm. No, I, I didn't. I didn't actually say that. I just said it. It fits the vibe with the neon, colorful theme, and and being top down. That's that's it. I, on the I don't know anything about the game, to be honest. I don't. It's been highly recommended. In fact, I think this copy, funnily enough, was purchased by Hyper Stifer X. I think. Well, now. Yeah, he bought it for me. Oh. Hi, Teal. How are you? We just announced the uh, the game of the day. If you didn't hear, it is Hyper Light Drifter. 2D on the vertical plane, not like top down like old Zelda. I like Zelda. It's not overwhelming, like that, that style and we we all have have realized how overwhelming i find normal things i mean just from the the screenshots teal like it's beautiful game like it's i like the colors like very bright very vivid yeah okay uh somebody asked me what i think of cultist simulator uh mm -hmm. not not for me it's an interesting game, uh, not one that I'm really that interested in investing time in. Much to the chagrin of some people, had somebody come in, they said they're super sad, I didn't like the game. It's like, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What about it isn't for you? Too much time investment in learning and a, a completely new system. Um, I have I have way too many games to play that I am interested in, and it's it's card card based, which is it's an interesting way of telling a story. Let me tell you a couple of things I dislike: timers in games, for the most part, um, temporary. Let's call them temporary buffs or temporary um, uh, consumables, right? Which which story elements can be in this game. And if you don't use them within a certain period of time, or if you're unable to use them within a certain period of time, they can potentially turn negative. So it's a, just a, an added level of stress that I'm not interested in getting involved with. It's not a bad game. I never said it was bad. Never said it was bad. It's very clever. I can see that. I can see the potential. It's not for me. Hello, so, Crow. Great to see you. 
So, Quiblet, mm. we have a week left of our uh, of our event. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to see, or you wish that we would have played so far? So, any any games that I've gotten recently. So, anything we we purchased yesterday when we did that big purchase. Um, thank you again to Sui if you're if you're watching. Um, so anything in that I would I would check out anything new that's been granted to me that kind of looks decent from you know devs or, or publishers I keep getting messages almost almost daily it's like hey have you checked out um Risk of Rain 2 and it's like hey have you done any research at all into the previous games that I played uh so Risk of Rain 2 is another one that people want to see a lot of but that that's one that I might just jump into from time to time. It's not it's not one that I'm interested in seeing during this event necessarily. It was great to play multiplayer with uh, Papa Neat and Elad um, yeah, the other day or well, last couple of weeks back, whatever. The learning curve is extremely steep and also the community is super everything is a spoiler so getting help can be obnoxious at times i wouldn't know what that's like ed <laughs> but it's also a super engaged community which makes for a super rich experience i got to witness i i couldn't sleep very well through today um and i got to witness elad finish echoes of the eye that was a treat What's the difference between all the different versions? So the base version, it doesn't have like a, a sh it's essentially half of what the full full package will get you. Um, it's also easier. I would recommend buying everything though, especially if it's on sale right now. Definitely. What's the game of the day on Epic? Game of the day on Epic is Vampire. Vampire. Is it? Is there a Vampire subtitle on that one? Nope. Vampire with a Y. Vampire. Vampire. Hmm. I grabbed it. Yeah, so I did I. I don't. I don't know what it is. Uh, Thirteen hours until the uh, next game reveal. Eight a.m. All right, give me one sec here. Yeah, that's the second time in two days people have asked for like a list of commands. I didn't I didn't know that was a, a popular thing in in chat. Um, well, now you know. Maybe I could put like the important stuff down the bottom in the about section, although my about section's already pretty bloated. I don't know, whatever. M Moonlighter, my my eye is is on that. I might have to download it because that looks fun. Maybe I did play this, and maybe I recognized the grind that was required very, very early on. And it turned me off. Possibly. I think the dungeon crawling aspect was decent. But the shop aspect was, was rough going, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'll have to replay it. Um, one thing I said to Elad as he was playing through Echoes of the Eye was just that I wish I could erase my memory of that game. What game is that? It's the DLC for uh, Outer Wilds. Oh, so you can play it again. Mm -hmm. Experience it for the first time. And I would, I would do it offline knowing what I know now about the human psyche and people's inability to shut the fuck up when asked. I'm telling you, put it on emote. Emote only. I I hate that shit. But you're I right. Know. You're right. For for certain events I have to. Mm -hmm. Once it happens once or twice, it's like shut it down. Sorry, Sorry, everyone. You can't talk because of this particular person. And I'll name them too. That way, um, well, they won't want to stay around.
You've seen a channel where people count yawns? Oh, okay, that's clever, Ed. I like that. That's more of an in-joke, though, and I think that's that makes it special. And it's it's that sort of... It's that mentality that... If you, if you witness it happen, you're like, oh my god, this is a thing that happens and there's a counter for the number of yawns in chat. I, I like that idea. I think that's funny. Twitch chat will invent emote speak then? Well, that's... You, you would think that they would. However, I think doing it in the moment, it catches them off guard and they're not able to figure it out. Oh, I don't know. You'd be very surprised. Maybe. Anyway, hopefully we don't we don't come across that. Um Right, let's start a prediction. It is time. Will McQueeb win the next run? We're up to uh this <laughs> Big Sad yesterday. Started with Curse of the Unknown. Um, which means you can't see your health. And I got hit twice. Somewhat avoidable damage. Uh, but I was unable to pick up Red Heart. So I immediately knew we were in still an okay position or a very, very bad position. Uh, and then we went into a room and a, a large troll bomb got me. So that's cool. But you won, right? No. You lost? Yeah, we're, we're back to two now. I'm so upset. I could have made so much money off of you. God damn it. I think somebody did. Well, a couple of people did. Dread Joker 99, the game of the day, yes, is Hyper Light Drifter. All right. Yes, I was taking the dog out, or I'd have made some. I'm so upset. Not really. I'm slightly annoyed. At best. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Back to single digits again. Womp womp. Yeah, so that's the thing. If I if I was if I was to die, if the run ended before the 15 minute window had expired, I'm going to refund points. Like I'm not going to just say, "Oh, you're good" because the vote never got locked in, right? It's it's not fair to those um plus you could get a few very late minute entries which would uh, which would benefit them. Uh and and we ain't about that. Okay. Totally understand. Unreasonable, <laughs> but... <laughs> decent damage, decent tears. It's good. Luck foot start as well. Hmm. Fancy starting with positive luck. What what must that be like? Uh, on Christmas Day, uh, during our Noita stream, we'll probably skip Isaac. I think I heard Miss Quib talking about Christmas Day earlier. I said. Um... I said that I'm I'm kind of shocked that you haven't approached me with the idea of starting early that day. I mean, like, we can if you want. It's, it's not about me. It's about you, Mr. I sleep until whenever. Well, I am coming off the back end of a 10 to 13 hour stream at that point. So, yeah. Yeah, I sleep a little while. Will it be vanilla modded or noita? Uh, or mod... Van <laughs> vanilla or modded noita? <laughs> Uh, vanilla. CK. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. I gotta, I gotta relearn. Oh, 
I was hoping for chocolate noita yourself. I have no idea what that means. He was being clever. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna make a uh, a game of the year video this year. Something that I haven't done in many, 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 many years. Oh, that damage helps so much. Yeah, let's go. We want to search for a secret room? Yeah. Well, Outer, Wi Outer Wilds isn't technically a game of the year. It will be mentioned, but not the full game. It will be the, uh, the DLC. Uh, shared first place with Inscription and... Oh, I just gave away my, my video. And Returnal. Yep. Uh, Outer Wilds wasn't released this year, was it? Echoes of the Eye was. So that will, like I said, that will be mentioned. I can't even remember. I can't believe I slept on it. I, I'm so disappointed in myself. It's a shame because uh, I missed out on an amazing game. I I got confused with the marketing. Um, I picked up Outer Worlds and I wasn't that impressed with it after spending like 30 bucks on the entire package. At this point, it was Game of the Year edition. Just funny. Just goes to show, no matter what you made in the past, doesn't mean... You still don't have to try. <clears throat> oh, can we not shoot a bomb the other way? Over here. Over here. Over here. Oh, you're so stupid. What even are you doing, bro? Have I confused you? What? Here we go. Yep. Oh, nice one. Not close enough. Um, I can't speak about Kui, but I haven't seen Witcher Season 2. I did want to binge it the other night after I got off stream. I just never got around to it. Um, yeah, I'll, I will probably watch that at night. I can't really watch TV around um, the boy child because he's just, he's such a damn hellion. Um, and I, I have to constantly rewind and whatnot. But I do want to watch it. I love season one, season two. I heard something about it, but I'm pretending that they don't exist. Do I think the easiest sin fight is? Are we talking Final Fantasy X? Do 
the boy child is a dog. Um, if you go to Discord, if you look at the Queebies tab, there are pictures of all of our pets. Um, he, uh, he is loaf. He is an asshole. But I love him. He's, he's my asshole. The wonderful kind, yeah. He, um, super smart. Like. As long as food is involved. Like, extremely food motivated. Extremely. Um, what I have to do is to get him into his kennel because he does still have to sleep in a kennel because he he is so ridiculous. He cannot be unsupervised. Um, and he won't go in his kennel on his own and I can't pick him up because he weighs 70 pounds and I can't drag him in because he'll try to like eat my hand. Um, so I have to basically breadcrumb him into his kennel. You tell me this story today. It's so sad. So like he'll, he'll if I say, do you want to go to the kennel? Okay, let's go kennel. He will go and he'll sit in front of the, the door to go out. He's like, no, it, it's like the furthest point away from his kennel. So I'll literally put little treats every couple of feet from where he is sitting all the way into the kennel. And this child, he will eat the first couple of treats. He will bypass the rest and he will just walk straight into the kennel and lay down. And I feel like a piece of shit. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I need to go poop and I can't leave you in the living room unsupervised. I'm sorry. Just give me like three minutes. And so when he's in there, you'll just hear like a noise. Like a little shuffling on the floor kind of thing. But yeah. And he'll, he'll, he's a master of the sigh. <sighs> like I am a piece of shit. You terrible mother. I am I'm a horrible mother. Oh love, that's his name. No no no, you are you are correct. I do call him boy child. He is my boy child. His name is also Robert. Uh it's Kevin, it's Steven, um, it's Bo Michael, um my little meathead, my little meat pork pie. Like, you know, he he has like forty eight names. He like he's he's very quick to pick up tricks if treats are involved like he's he's got it down uh he hates going to the vet but he has figured out that they will feed him every single step of the way <laughs> uh, like they they will give him treats and they will kiss on him and like he's he's treated like a superstar because of course he is that's my boy <laughs> <laughs> um but he's just and he used to eat all of the treats in between the door and the kennel. And yesterday he was just like, man, fuck this bitch. And he just skipped literally f five or six treats, which actually reminds me, I need to buy more because I was like the rest of them. Um, because whatever he doesn't eat, Zoe hoovers up like a little hoover because that's her. Um, but he's doing good. You guys haven't seen him on stream because he is not allowed in this room. He is not allowed to come back here at all. Nope. Um, Zoe's fucking hanging on by a thread. <laughs> there, uh... He... Uh, it, look, he's on Prozac. That should tell you everything you need to know. He's on Prozac. Like human uh, Prozac. Yes. Yeah. Are hearts in a certain order after the red, or is it just the order in which they are picked up? Says Pentheranos. Order in which they're picked up. However, yes. um, if I was to pick up an eternal heart right now, the eternal heart would sit in the bone heart because it's covering red. Um, it will cover non-reds if you're out of reds completely. Um, if you have half, uh, let's say the, the last... Uh, black heart there was a half and then we had the bone heart and i picked up a full blue heart it would fill the black heart completing it and then add half a, a blue heart as well there's a few little rules but yeah generally in the order in which they're picked up they don't reshuffle or anything like that health management super important though sergeant Keenice, sir hello 
Um. <laughs> yeah, yes and no. Like, there are things that pull his attention. Like, our couch does not have cushions on it. Like he, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. I've had him since he was eight weeks old. There is absolutely no way he could have developed a habit of chewing couch cushions before that point. Um, so the couch cushions have had to be removed from the couch uh, because he just he he attacks them. He eats them. Like, and but we have moved from the phase of chewing and eating to chewing and spitting out to chew more. We have moved on to that phase, um, and he's been very good. We did have to take him to the vet to get his stomach flushed because he ate a lot of fabric and uh, he was pooping out squeakers, so he's not allowed to have chew toys. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, if he is given any kind of actual like like stuffed animal chew toy, I have to literally sit next to him and... Uh, as soon as it gets to like, you know, danger zone, I have to pull it from him. Gomez, my boxer isn't food motivated, but attention motivated. Oh, he's literally broken the welds on a couple of different crates. We put him in as a puppy. How oh, he never got injured, I don't know. Needless to say, we don't bother crating him anymore. Zoe? No, Emma. Emma was like that. Like, this child would bend the door to her crate to get out, and then she would get stuck, and she would yelp for help, and it was just like, oh, you walk in. Oh, she tried to escape from that? Oh, a few times. And I would That's walk impressive. in the room, and she's like, she's kind of like caught in the doorway, and she would just look at me like, you know, we won't ever speak of this. Like, just embarrassed, and you know, yeah, I was trying to get out. Zoe tried to get out a couple of times when she was a puppy, like when she was like eight, nine weeks old. And uh, after that, I stopped putting her in the crate. What was that from? Ah, what? okay. So it was in extras, Ricky Gervais extras. Stephen Merchant was trying to get into the BBC. Because they were shooting a live show. They were shooting Ricky's live show in in the show. It's a bit, yeah. bit meta, but it's... Mm -hmm. And Stephen Merchant tries to jump jump the gate, but he gets caught in it. And the security guard walks over and just looks at him in, and Stephen goes, oh, I think we both know what happened here. It's very good. I just I just pictured that from, that, from what you said. I... Whatever the animated radio show was of Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant and Carl Pickington? Is that his name? Mm -hmm. Pinkington? Yeah. Pilkington. Yes. I, I watched like the fuck out of that. He's it's perfect. It's amazing. It's brilliant. I don't even know if it's still on HBO, but I loved it. Never had to create my dog. Um with Zoe actually I lucked out. Like Emma Emma did not want her her crate at all. Zoe, if Zoe has a crate that is only for her, that is her cave. She will be in there. She loves it. Like that. That's her thing. It's always been her thing. And so Emma would try to get in the kennel, and then that would like start a whole like ruckus, because Emma's like, well, I don't want my kennel. I want your kennel. But only if you're in there, because we're like, we're bros. My dog once ate an entire plastic bag and then just pooped it out the next day. We're, we're, we're kind of at that level. I, am I going to sit here and tell you how many times I've had to use a poop bag to assist my dog in pooping fabric out? No, we don't need to know. The number of times but it was more than once mm -mm. Mm -hmm. humans don't deserve doggos they're too precious they are similar thing happened with our boxer he ate jean jean pants an entire pair of pants 
I do feel like I need to point out that Zoe is, per her DNA test, 1% boxer. So, just FYI. She once managed to open an entire 5 liter jug of olive oil and then a 5 pound bag of oats. I believe that. When she was done, her coat was so shiny and nice, but her belly was tight like a doll. Poor baby. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love them so much. I miss... I miss my chows, which I haven't had chows since I was like 15. Uh, I had little tiny chow puppies. Like they literally, whenever, like Queeb will sometimes forget. He's like, what do they look like? Let me, let me see. And he'll look it up. He'll type in chow puppies and he's just like, oh my God, it's so cute. It's so fluffy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're, it, it, yeah. It's heartbreaking how adorable they are. They're amazing. I did. I had uh, I had a few. My mother had a couple. My mother is what you would call a backyard breeder. I didn't know that at the time. Um, it wasn't for an extended period of time. It was for a couple of years until she realized she wasn't going to make any money at it. Um, I had a uh, a red one, and I had a cream one. Yes. No, and a silver one. Yeah, so I had three, like, like they were mine, and I love them to death. Babies, I just, oh my god, oh, they're just so cute, they're, they're perfect. And they have a horrible stigma, just like pit bulls do. Um, but I went from chows to chihuahuas to pit bulls, all dangerous breeds, <laughs> like all of them. The only true danger there is the, uh... The Chihuahuas. Yeah. Absolutely. Dog has recently started a habit of chewing the buttons and zips off things. Zoe chews the eyes off of her babies. Just the eyes. Just the eyes. And it's not all the eyes. It's if they're plastic eyes or... And she has one that has like a, like a plastic button on its butt. She will chew it off. I have trouble with vets around here with chows. I, I, I didn't I, I didn't read the vets at first and I was like that there's chow territory <laughs> <laughs> Gomez also once chewed through my power cable when it was turned on literally was away from my PC for three minutes how he didn't get electrocuted I don't know I believe that I I have been extremely lucky and that in my entire time of having dogs Loaf is the only dog I have ever had that will just randomly chew on shit. He is obsessed with my glasses, so I can't wear my glasses around him. My shoes, like my my outside shoes, I don't walk around him with like my my, my city shoes, only my country shoes. Um, plastic bags? like empty plastic grocery bags Ob obsessed he he likes to shred them and i'm sure he's eating some of that because I, I i pick up his poop um you can give him like he loves to go get the mail like you can you can say do you want to go get the mail and he'll run over there with you and you have to give him a letter he so he gets he gets the junk mail and he'll take it in like you can just say mailman and he'll open his mouth and he'll take it Sorry, quick uh, question. What's the blue item that we have second from the left? The very second last item we picked up. What is that called? Go ahead. Me? Hmm? Oh. Um, uh, but yeah, like, like he's... Found it. If he ever sheds mail, should give him the bill. <laughs> well, I would if my husband didn't constantly ask for them. Like, constantly. Um, our chow, so we had a black female, her name was Midnight, um, mine was Ginger, and Marty, yeah, Ginger and Marty, love them, I will absolutely get chows again, not for a long time though. Number one, I am extremely overwhelmed with, with the house load that I have right now. Number two, I don't know 
where we'll be living. Like, we talk randomly about moving out of the country and... Out of the state. Have... Nothing to do with out of the country. Our pets make it almost impossible to move anywhere. I would want to live anyway. Yes, that was what I was saying. If the toilet paper rolls are food, it can be a great... Uh, if if we were talking about any other type of animal heavenly i would agree he he can chew a pig ear in less than five minutes it's gone um he he can annihilate so many toys like it is it is insane how fast he goes through stuff we spend a, a fuck ton on chews and treats and sticks and and uh i've even tried getting the uh i don't know why i'm motioning to you you can't see me the fire hose toys made of fire hose he chews through those like like nothing yeah what did we get the strongest i i didn't post it i need to the strongest um, chew toy i paid 20 bucks for this toy and it's like oh it's the strongest chew toy it's the the toughest soft toy for dogs it, he he had a hole punched in it in less than five minutes like it's now just like a shell like he's i need to find him a job where i can just say here's my dog what can he shred for you he'll do it but he's food motivated so you, you're gonna have to give him treats in order to get him to not swallow the thing All right. Beagle chewed through my Wii U power cord wasn't hurt, but now won't go near wires due to it. By the way, Wii U power cords are super expensive. I never had a dog chew on a cord, but I did have my cat. Like when I first got her, she chewed through my laptop power cord. Like, and it was the, you know, the kind with the the thing that plugs into the box. And of course she chewed on the part with the box, not not the part that I had like 48 different, you know, extras for. But like the, the, the actual like AC adapter itself, chewed through that. Um, chewed, she did through, chew through a Wii, uh, a Wii power cord. And then also the, uh, what is it? Um, Ethernet cord cable. But yeah, out of all of all of the animals I've had over the years, it, like literally it was the, the one cat and my most recent dog that have given me the most trouble with that shit. Right now our house is in chaos because things have to be stacked on top of things. So he can't get them. Hi, Random. How are you? Our doggo will mercilessly destroy the squeaker. Yes. But I did notice... So what he would previously do is he would chew the squeaker, swallow them, and then poop them out, which is really disgusting. Um, I don't know if it's because he had the procedure... All the procedure was was they just, like, pumped his stomach full of saline. And basically just like he he got a very expensive colonic that's what it was he got a colonic um and they flushed him out everything was fine but ever since then he will chew or he'll suck on the squeaky but then he will abandon it he won't swallow it so i don't know if he like he figured it out but like oh this is the thing there's a ton of homemade toy like that like getting there My dog chewed and ate the kitchen lino. My mine uh, mine chewed a tiny hole, and I ended up having to rip it completely up. Of course, he 
lost, of course, and of course I picked yes, so now I have 80 quibbles. I did, I voted yes. That was absolutely on you. I am, I want, I want a refund. I want a refund. But figure it out. Figure it out. Um, there is no special treatment. Absolutely none. Confidential waste pre-shredder for like top secret dog. He absolutely would. Every time I see a dog toy that talks about how tough it is or can't be chewed, it makes me laugh since mine always seems to eat those. That, that is love. That is absolutely him. They have those, what are those, those boxes called like bully make or something? We saw, I keep getting tempted by this, this chew ball that they have at CVS by that brand. It's like $14. I'm like, I'm not paying $14 for that. No, I'm like, he'll, he'll fucking swallow it. Um, but it seems like, like super hard. I don't, on one hand, I want to say no. He, he won't be able to kill it. On the other hand, I, I know my child. If it's a if it's a pooped out squeaker, does that mean it's shitty music? I was waiting for a dad joke. Your mic is muted, Queeb. I completely blame Tiny Planet. That was a bad. That was a bad choice. That was. It's fine. I will not hold it against you this time. I should though, but I won't. Is Tiny Planet what made the tears go in a circle? Yep. And I did it in the hopes of... We were in a really good place. There was no way I was going to lose that run if I didn't take that. Uh, that just happened to be a run ender, unfortunately. You know what? It happens. You gotta take risks, Miss Queeb. It's what life's all about. Um, I'm looking at a hundred quibbles, so yeah, I know all about taking risks, dude. Oh wow, big loss. Um, yeah, yeah. I lost like six thousand eight hundred. So yeah, but shit happens. Everything is fine. I'm not angry. I'm a little bit angry, but I'm not. I'm fine. There you go. Typical Zeus lost 100k. I've been there. I've been there. You've been there three or four times. Past. Yeah. I, I have. I am no longer there. You know why I'm no longer there? Because I lost it. Repeatedly. My own husband. He, he, he did this to me. Yeah. Yes. I, I won when you <laughs> voted against. That's That's on me. Well, I mean, I, I voted for you last night and you still lost, so so what? So what? Oh, were you in that game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Miss Queeb's, like, crying over 6,000 here. People are, people are losing their house. Um, excuse me, I used to have 799,000 points. Don't even. I know loss, man. I know it. Will there be more Hellblade tonight or a new game? New game. I just need to figure out which was... Miss Queeb is voting and go the other way. <laughs> Pretty much. The, 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 you know what? If somebody can make money off of my, my fuckery, then, then so be it. It's weird. I really liked Hellblade. Um... But some people had a hard time l even looking at it. So let's let's break it down, right? There was there, the game is designed to make you uncomfortable, and it did a good job of that. I was exhausted by the end of our what three four hours, whatever. Um, and it did it a number of ways. The the most impactful was the audio, right? So every time you would even consider 
making a mistake before you even and like if you were exploring and not going the right way it was already telling you you fucked up where's she going what's she doing does she even know what she's doing um it's just a tuesday for me i hear the voices even on a tuesday and then there, there was a visual thing which was tough for people alone right because there was no way to disable the call it extreme effects um and that combined like it the, the whole game like even how close you were to the character it's designed to make you uncomfortable and it did a very very good job um i do wish they could you could disable the what would you call it lighting i don't know it kind of blurred the vision i guess if I don't know. Let's say you were very drunk or very stressed out, which is probably what they were going for. Um, it gave that that impression. Like even um, just yeah, even when nothing's going on, it it still gives you that that feeling. Um, and it's tough for some people. Um, I'm gonna probably finish it. We're about halfway through the game, if I had to guess. Um, I was also stressed by the fact that I'd missed a few of the little, uh, the little rune totems. Um, and I could have sworn that I completely explored the area or whatever. So clearly I missed a bunch of stuff. And I'm talking around about 30 to 40% of the totems I've missed. Um, so that really pissed me off, actually. Um... What else? The puzzles were too easy. The visual puzzles where you had to align things, way too easy. The combat, way too difficult, on the other hand. This... And I, I want to momentarily interrupt you and ask Chat the question that I asked you. So we were talking about this game, and he said you wouldn't like the, the combat in the game. Because the I know combat for, was difficult. Yeah, for a fact you wouldn't. Yep. And I asked you are there any games like that like maybe they don't have like the you know the the mental psychosis aspect of it but are there any games similar to hellblade but but it's just puzzles or or non-combat things like quests or whatever is there a game like that chat can you help me please continue Queep. i made the combat look easy it wasn't it wasn't so for a couple of reasons the the way they telegraphed attacks was really good. It's like, evade now, and it would tell you that There's a, there was a hit incoming. Um, but you had two-frame window. Like, <laughs> you did not have a lot of time at all. I did have variable difficulty turned on, so if I was doing better, it might have upped the difficulty for me as a result. Um... It was, it was good. I did like it. I liked it a lot, in fact. But, um, yeah, it's another one of those very divisive games, right? Like, uh, what was the... What was the other one we played with Norman Reedus? Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to fucking hate it. The Witness... So the, the Witness I won't play because of the level of difficulty in the puzzles. That would just frustrate me. Um, I've seen other people play it and some of them... that They're logic puzzles, but they require a different kind of brain than I have. You'll notice in, in Outer Wilds, especially the main game, I knew what the solution was. I knew it the moment I saw the towers, right? What I tried didn't fucking work, and that that was frustrating. Um, this is interesting. When life gives you hemolacria, make bloody lemonade. The witness and the room. So the, the witness. The room you would amazing. like, I think. Is the room the one that I had? What's a mobile game originally? Maybe. 
the room game. Uh... Super Liminal? It's another one that's pretty good. I haven't played it, but I've seen it being played. I have played the room. I beat the room. I tried, I started on the room two and it was entirely too difficult. I was only able to get through the first puzzle and I had to stop at the second puzzle because I'd already put like, like four or five hours into it and I was just done. So I don't think we've spoken about the room, but I agree. I went back when I was doing uh, mobile game reviews, the room was one of the ones that I covered. And it was one of those games where the first one, it was like a, a real life puzzle box, right? Like you had to work it out. It made sense logically because the programmers designed it or they, the, the game designers created it in such a way where it was physically possible to work the way it was intended. Room two started to delve into the supernatural and you had puzzles where it shifted that core fundamental and it, it was good like for for like um uh from from a gameplay perspective i guess they're trying something different and whatever but because i was so heavily invested in the room the original um yeah that was that was very jarring and i and then the room three just went full tilt it went like so far the opposite so opposite direction um it's a shame i miss infinity blade i was thinking about that today that was so good i just realized every second shot we're gonna our range is ridiculous which yeah i didn't realize do i not like more options i do not i do not some people like it i do not Heinerman says, Ms. Queep, have you played Stardew Valley? I have. Um, however, I have to cheat at it and do the, the quote unquote unlimited money hack. Um, because that adds the, the financial aspect, it adds one more stressor. I tried playing it without that, like, like just, I guess, straight and too much of a grind. It, it, it was too much of a grind and I was stressing out because with my anxiety, my, my anxiety is already like sky high before I play games like that. So when there's like a timer, um, I, I feel very rushed. And instead of rushing, I will literally just sit there and just like stress. And I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? And I just kind of like, like you and I share I guess, a lot uh, in that regard. We do. Um, I'll like space out. And then whenever I feel like doing something like, okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Um, and I'll start to get into a groove. It's like, oh yeah, you, you have to, you have to go to sleep now. It, like it's a whole, it, you have to go to sleep now. It's just very frustrating. Um, I do want to get back into it or at least attempt that will be something that we do on the, on the podcast stream. The timer, the timer takes the fun out of Starview 2 Valley. Yeah, like I I literally tried it twice. Just straight the way that it was and it was not fun for me. But then again, I'm someone who I don't like playing The Sims. I like designing The Sims. I like designing the houses and, and, and like that's fun for me. But I don't like doing like, like I don't I don't want to make them sick or or. or be accomplished or whatever it's that's too much stress because then whenever you're doing that you're having to focus on timers and and you know feeding all of that shit Bylam says how do you even get to those gold hearts if they're across a trench from already you? done perfect uh i would love to see a queeb and miss queeb playthrough of we were here together so the one game i was told today we should play together and it was actually from elad um whom oh i never sent you that where's my phone hang on i gotta send you this picture fine um i've always viewed the timer as the constraint to fun yeah so so taking that the timer out it it helps immensely um 
I believe I stopped playing it for external reasons. Like it wasn't, it had nothing to do with the game. I just, work was getting hectic. My, um, I ended up changing jobs and, and then that was the thing. And then I was never in the mood to play it, but I do want to go back to it. Miss Clue, what about the Zero's Escape series? Please hold. Zero's Escape? The, the game that um, he suggested we play was uh, It Takes Two. Is that the one? Uh, it's a platformer, we, 3D we platformer, yeah. Kidnapped and taken to an unfamiliar location, nine people find themselves forced to participate in a diabolical nonary game by an enigmatic mastermind called Zero. Why are they here? Why were they chosen to put their lives on the line? More importantly, who can be trusted? This sounds like that movie Devil. Yep, the, the elevator movie, like M, yeah. M. Night Shyamalan's supposed to return. Oh, but yeah. but he didn't direct it. He It was just a short story that they, they co-opted. Shut up. I had to watch that in the theater. I wasn't happy. Uh, okay, I'll add this to the list. So right now, for the stuff to check out, I have The Witness. Um, I've already played The Room. And Queeb was dead on, like, like the first one, it was more practical. And then the second one, they started, it started getting, like, all mystical and stuff, which I don't have a problem with, but... It was very hard for my teeny little brain to wrap around at the time. So I just, like... Smooth that. brain, Miss Queeb, not yes. teeny. <laughs> um, it, it was just, it, it got to a point where that, it, 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 it's too much, too much. Um, I also, in my search, the game Lake pulled up, uh, which is 20% off on Steam. So I've got that pulled up in a tab. How much does it take to? Oh, hold on. It takes two game. It takes two on Steam. Uh, it says that there's a pass. What? It says download. It takes two friends pass. Oh, okay. So there's so a there's like a. It? There's included with EA Play is four ninety nine a month. There we go. It takes two, fifty percent off. It's nineteen ninety nine right now. Fifteen percent. Fifty percent off. It's nineteen ninety nine right now. And it isn't a bundle with a game called A Way Out. What was a way out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, it's only Fuck five the bucks. Oscars. I remember that guy. It's only five bucks more. I might, might grab that. Um, right. Same. Is that the same developer? Or just interesting concept style games, I wonder. Hm. Let me see. Hold on. Haze Light and EA is It Takes Two. And then a way out is... So the pay is light. Yeah, yeah, same. The pass is uh, the extra copy. So like I would potentially own it and then you could download the pass, which would let you play on your computer with me in real time. And it's still displayed on, we, you, we get to see each other's actions on the same screen, even though we're playing our, our, playing our own game. Yeah, it's, it's quite, quite unique. Not many games do that. But I've heard such good things, and that would be a perfect uh, husband-wife stream. Oh, thank you for reminding me about Slime Rancher. I had that on my list. Slime Rancher. I think I have that. I do believe you do. We have talked about it before. That's another one. I think I've been told that the grind is too excessive. Mm -hmm. it seems to be coming up a lot. Like... Moon, moon, moonlighter, whatever it was called. Oh <laughs> man, I mean, I gotta, I gotta try it. Right. This is what fucked me the last time, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Fixes range. What do we got? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Waste. Should have okay. checked. So we've got the witness, lake, which that's the one that you had reminded me of. Super, super liminal. Zero escape. 
uh, the It Takes Two slash A Way Out bundle and Slime Rancher. Keep that list handy because we'll 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 do a after this run we'll do a, another Steam a Steam drop Steam purchase. I'll actually scribble these out. Uh, either that or keep talking and nobody explodes. <laughs> wow. We'd kill each okay. other. And I don't mean in the game. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to go into the other room and take care of Loaf because he has been in his kennel since three. He's been good because he was very bad before. Um, and I don't want to... Uh, I don't like him being in the kennel the whole time. Like, he's he's a good dog. Like, he, he look, he's an asshole, but he's a good dog. He tries. He does. He's He definitely wants to help. Um, but his, like, today, for instance, I was trying to cook dinner, and he kept jumping up on the stove, like, on the, the stove knobs while I was cooking, and I had like I was making pasta so I had like a pot of boiling water and I had a skillet of of sausage that I was searing off and he kept jumping up there and I just like lost my shit I'm like you cannot do this I we're not we are not having a dog emergency two days before Christmas we're not doing that no no emergencies please I refuse uh zero escape um, so yeah, so he's been, he's been up for four, almost four hours. I need to spend time with him before he goes to bed. I'll wait out. And then I also have to, uh, clean tanks tonight. Cause it's a tank change night for everyone but, uh, Mr. Archimedes because he ate finally. Oh, does that mean we're moving over? Uh, I'm going to. I, I need to tr get her ready to move over. That That's kind of why I didn't do it in the 40 minutes I had before we jumped on um, on stream today. Because I was like, nope, that's... I do that. I, I'm like, no, 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 I can get it done. And then I'll start to do it and I'll get stressed out and we're not going to do that. It's almost 2022 and you are 42 years old. Like, oh fucking easy on yourself, mate. Okay. So I've got those games down. I have them written on a piece of paper on my desk. In case I'm not here, you can grab that. Have you played any of the odd word games? Odd word or odd worlds? Ah. I have played the original... Um, World. I played the original uh, Abe's... Uh, what's, what was the first one called? Odyssey. 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 I've got I've got a copy of the the updated version. It was sent to me by the dev. Um, I haven't played it. Um, oh, that's a creepy band. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. It's a very creepy game. Not not creepy as in like horror esque. Just like mm -hmm. the horrors of a dystopian future, I guess. Kind of like what we're living right now. Overcooked. Do you want to talk relationship testing games? Overcooked. We talked about this game. We have. What did we I say have... last time? <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but we. This was a discussion we had before the co op stream. Because we were trying to figure out stuff and you were just like naming stuff. And you mentioned Overcooked, but you said, no, we won't do that one. And you never gave a reason. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I've I've heard stories about relationships being tested. Not that I think that would be a problem for us necessarily, but um If I got if I got too frustrated, I I will absolutely I have no shame in getting up and just being like, you know what, I'm done. I love you, but fuck you and like walking off and just you like would. <laughs> I would. I absolutely would. I'm I'm I am an extremely competitive person. I am a, an exceptionally sore loser. But I'm also very easily frustrated and I know when to walk it off. 
Overcooked is worse than Monopoly. Uh, RL Laser RL says, how was Hellblade last night? We, uh, we were talking about that a little bit ago. Um, I enjoyed it very much. I will be finishing it probably on stream. No ETA on that. Um, it made some people super uncomfortable, either uh, visual stimuli, um, audio, it, it, mainly the visual though. There was too much of that weird reflection, repeating graphic kind of thing going on. Um, I, I really do sincerely wish you could turn that off because it's it's it makes the game unnecessarily difficult just to work out what you're looking for. I am completely lost here. What have I missed? Love not having a map, by the way. So good. Sorry, I missed the chat earlier. I'm definitely going to check out the bar. Hey, not a problem, Mario. Absolutely not a problem. Melfina, I've been accidentally overcooking pizza rolls in the air fryer oven, and they're decadent. They're so good overcooked. They're some of my favorite games. The first are 2D platformers. The third one is a 3D platformer. The fourth is a first third-person shooter thing. Better than it sounds. And the new one is going to back to being a 2D platformer. It's going to be out soon, I think. Sorry, what are we talking about? Rusty Muggs was talking about Odd World. Mm. Melfina, we got a um instead of getting like a regular air fryer, I got an air fryer oven. I got the uh instant vortex pro, I think it's called. Um it's it's fantastic. It does everything. It's like it's literally a tiny oven. It roasts, bakes, air fries, dehydrates, and there's even like a rotisserie chicken. Thing that you can put in there like it's awesome i haven't i think i've only used the oven like once since we got it at the beginning of december so with a regular air fryer air fryer just air fries this one it is an air it's called an air fry air fryer oven and it actually instead of a little drawer it's a like it it kind of looks like a tiny little oven that sits on your counter and it has the same door that opens the same way and there's two racks in there um you're able temperature wise it goes up to 400 um super easy to clean like stupendously easy to clean um and it's also it's faster like if i cook pizza rolls in the oven not including the time it takes for the oven to heat up it's about 20 minutes and with the air fryer oven I can uh, put the pizza rolls in there. What it'll do is it'll preheat for about like three to five minutes and then it'll start your timer. I can put the pizza rolls in there as soon as I start, like as soon as I like, you know, turn it on and it starts to preheat. And then normally within five to seven minutes, they're completely done. And they're like slightly overcooked. They are amazing. Um, if you don't go with the instant vortex, look at others but that's a good one it'll it actually like tells you everything that it can uh, do rusty says could you use the soul of the lost to go look in the boss trap room maybe i don't think so though uh, no. there are also multi pots that are pressure slow cooker and fryer there are and um Apparently, I, I somehow ended up on a mailing list for Instant Pot, Instant Company, which is, I already have an Instant Pot. I have the Instant Vortex. They've created a slow cooker now that does like four or five different things. I'm like, I, I don't need it. Like, that, that, I have to draw the line somewhere. The line must be drawn Yeah. I have both Ori games, I think. I think I only have one on Steam. I think the other's on uh, Microsoft Store. That was sent to me as well, yeah. Haven't I played them yet. The Mr. Sunset. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming in. And thank you for thinking that uh, Queep is awesome. I appreciate it. Sovereignty is a turn Thanks for being on. You're, you're talking to Ms. Queep, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will absolutely thank Happy for sending people over. 
Sovereignty is a turn-based tactics game. You play as T against, uh, excuse me, what? Teapots or tanks? Excuse me? Do I drink tea? No. Do I drink coffee? No. Am I heavily invested in this right now? Yes. That sounds amazing. Sovereign tea. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's clever. <laughs> looks so cute. <laughs> oh, it only has four reviews since July. Oh, that looks adorable. Okay, I'm gonna write that on my list. You do know one of the devs, that's cool. Sovereign T. It's so super cute. And it's an adorable idea. I don't I can't really decide whether it's coffee or tea because regardless of whatever I drink it's gonna have to just have like a, a crap ton of sugar and cream in it and it, it's like it's to a point where it's not even worth it for me to drink if it, if I have to make it taste like something else but these little these little dudes with the little coffee beans on their heads like that's fucking adorable that's so cute with the little the little coffee bean and the little tea leaf. It's so cute. Whatever swoons your moon. If you want a crap ton of cream and sugar, eggnog is where it's at. I can't. It's the smell. Queeb is like he's been downing it. I love so. it. I'll spend all day in the bathroom, <laughs> but I do love it. Uh, XMR, are you asking for the link to the tea game? Here it is. Fonzie, hey, hey, I'm back. Hope everything's well. Just learned that my friend got COVID. We all went to a restaurant together. Result, everyone is sick except me. And Christmas dinner is canceled. Be careful, guys. Fonzie, thank you for coming back. We you ain't, ain't got to tell you. us. Sucks to be um, them, though. That's terrible. Absolutely. Uh, Miss Queen lost a friend in a matter of three days after being intubated, intubated in the hospital. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, the following day. It was fucking fast. So, so he, he got it. He was sick for four days before he went into the hospital. He was in the hospital for 10 days. On the 13th day, which Two was weeks. the... So on the 17th at like one in the morning, I saw the first message saying he had been in the hospital for that long because I'm not on I, I I'm not on Facebook that much anymore. That's a good and move, I, by the way. I made a post and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I can't believe you got sick. You had one job and that was to not get sick. How dare you? Better fucking get better. And within 20, it was literally 25 hours. He was dead. Um, what was his final words on on Facebook? Oh, oh. please hold. Please hold. It's, um, it's a doozy. Did I? You're all vaccinated and everybody's sick like flu. Well, let's hope it is just that. Today, today is day 10 of hospital confinement on high flow oxygen and I still ain't dead. So he posted that on December 15th at seven in the morning. I saw it December 17th at midnight. So like almost two days later. And by the third day he was dead. So like, it's, it's not fucking around. Don't fuck with it. You'll never take me alive. And COVID's sitting in the corner, oh. wrapping its fingers. It's like, that's, like yeah. that's the plan, bud. Yeah, that's I'm the plan. Number one. Sorry to hear that. Let's send love to everyone we can. Absolutely. Like, I, I, I do not wish this on my worst enemy at all. Um, I think, and not, not just. I, I, I think what a lot of people. It, it's kind of, and we're not going to delve into this, but it's kind of like the, the, the talk of the S word. 
um, whenever people are like, no, 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 and the S uh, suicide, they, um, they're very much like, people have these opinions of them themselves about it, which is fine, but then they don't think of the people who they're leaving behind. Mm. And I'm not going to get into my, my, my thoughts on that, the politics, whatever, but this is something similar where we have so many people saying, oh, well, you know, fuck it, and I don't care, and they, they won't take me alive, and I still ain't dead. He, he has a grandbaby who he has never met because of COVID. And he, he never got to see her. Um, like, I only have, like, two extremely close friends in this world. He was one of them. Um, so, I think... E e even, if you, even if you don't, like don't believe in the politics like like take care of yourself so so you don't have any friends or family sitting at home wondering what the fuck is wrong with you why didn't you take care of yourself you mentioned politics before pre-stream mm -hmm. and that's that's one of the things about this country right people mm -hmm. distill everything down to you're either a, a democrat mm -hmm. or a um or a republican they do but that is it's, such a narrow way of thinking, like... It's... I, and I used to think that way, because that's how we're, we're, we're taught to think. Well, we're taught to set think up that way. It's, it's red or it's blue. It's white. It's everybody else. It's educated. It's people who aren't educated. It's boomers versus millennials. Like, they're dividing us into groups, and... As soon as I was able to get it through my head that it's it's not left and right, it's left wing, right wing of the same bird, I, I feel such, like, terror for the future because before it was like, oh, well, you know, it, it was almost like, I guess, fear mongering where I felt like being a Democrat, like, that was, r regardless of the politics, like, at, at least more people were safe on that side. And I'm, I'm using quotey fingers and I'm being as very loose as I can with what I'm speaking about. Um, like, re regardless of some of the shit that they pulled. And now, it's like, it's like, well, ev everything is shit, everything is fucked. However, everything is not fucked. It just means we haven't come up with a, a good solution yet. Mm. And we'll get there. We'll get there. Like as soon as more people are starting to realize that it's not red or blue, it's it, it's 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 not red or blue, it's not um, everything. It's literally just a way to divide us and keep our attention away from where it needs to be pointed. That's all it is. Uh, have family members who are very high risk. I hate anyone who won't vax, as it puts all of us at risk. Uh, if anyone wants to talk about the S word, I lost my cousin seven years ago, just before Christmas. So you guys are free to DM me and we can have fun talking about games or something. That's super cool of you, Fonzie. Definitely. Um, I used to have a friend whose best friend, uh, he he did that on Christmas Eve. And then he like, he left a really snotty letter for her to find like a month later. Um, like it was hand delivered by someone a month later after he had gone. And it, it, it takes a toll. It absolutely takes a toll. Like, I think that happened eight or nine years ago. It's rough stuff. As family is high the, risk. The thing, also... the thing that gets me is that I don't, I don't give a, a fuck which branch of government mm -hmm. you aspire to chase. And that's, that's part of the problem. We idolize people in this country for some fucking messed up reason. Um, but what happened to human rights? Like, that's, that's the thing. Like, people will fight so vehemently against the Democrats, even though being progressive and open and accepting. Like, why, why are people more than happy to say, that's not who I am because I support that guy over there? It's so fucking weird. It really is. Um, my mother used to be Republican. And I say used to because ever since the T word left office, she is now pro him. 
and it's not even it's not even republican it's it's literally she is she's so far over and i don't know i i don't know if it's because so much bad shit has happened to so many people and now we're just we're we're being divided into very extreme groups teal tribalism at our base that, that's what it, it feels like like it just feels like like everything's getting boiled down to its most concentrated form that's all it is um and and now we're talking about you know vaccines and masks and it's like you'll happily mock someone because they're wearing a mask in public even in california even in la one of the most progressive supposedly cities in the world and you know, it's just it's just weird i i hate i hate everything here Please, one of my good friends is a big Bush fan. Haha, ha, always made me laugh. I grew up in Texas, and I remember whenever, whenever Bush Jr. ran, I didn't vote, and that that was one of the first elections I could vote in, I believe. Um. Uh, and I was having a talk with my, my best friend at the time, and she said that she was voting for him, even though he was a Republican, and I didn't understand why, and she said, because my parents vote for him. It doesn't matter. My parents vote for him. Learn behavior. I mean, exactly. So I, was, um, I, I didn't have that to quote unquote aspire to. Uh, so yeah, it, it's but a lot of people think that way in that area. It, it's very much like seemingly logical people voting opposite to their best interests because of family. It's almost come across as if your candidate is your football team. Is that an overgeneralization? No, that sounds about right. That no, sounds about not right. only that, but you will paint their colors on your chest and run around screaming it's it is a little bit more nuanced on the democrat side but both still do it and biden's just as bad as anybody else he's just absolutely the but, least worst right and and that's what um that's what a lot of people um a lot of red people tend to think like like oh well well you you have you have a p word as a president it's like well okay number one that p word is also your president because you're in this country but two trump did the same thing like 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 like, like thing things have been said about both of these people that 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 match and and you can't just it, it is an entirely different brand of Kool-Aid that they're drinking. And I don't, I, I have yet to understand why or to see a good enough explanation as to why this has not happened with, with any other pr president. It's just been with that one. You mean you don't have to get a tattoo of Biden across your back if you voted for the Democrats in 2020? <laughs> Hi, Zeph, how are you? Uh... Oh, Jesus, what was that? He sounds like a cat in there. Being a football fan and not being American, I'm always surprised when I meet people, meet people being haters of someone like I hate Brady, despite that person never doing anything to you personally. I've had crazy interested talks with some of them just to realize how much media are putting hate into some brains and for no reason. Rusty says, if I sub, will you re-roll? I don't know what that means. Um. And no. <laughs> I don't give a New fuck if you sub or not. I'm not changing my gameplay for anybody. <laughs> New age of voters grew up with the internet and social media. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but not a lot of people are doing it. Not a lot of people are voting. They're making it more and more difficult. Um, yeah, but like they, they have the... Um, there are people literally every year who are being arrested for voting 
somewhere where they shouldn't or not having an ID or or like wrong county, wrong state, like whatever. Like it's ridiculous. Heinerman's correct. Postal Service still being gutted. Like it's just it's it's all a, dis a distraction. It's all to keep us from from focusing in. Remember, like all of that stink. I don't know if you guys heard any of it. The stink about um, the October fifteenth strike. Well, some some big corporations went on strike, but we really didn't hear about any of the small ones. It was it was almost like it was just like all hype and all bluster, and then it was just gone with the wind. Same thing with the Black Friday strike. Supposedly that didn't happen. Hey, light subject, have you guys went to the theater? We have not. Uh, don't spoil me. No, and we, we won't be either. We're going to be streaming it. Yeah. Um, I... Oh my god, he sounds like a cat in there. I remember earlier last year, you could rent a theater out. Most private showings are $99. Like, I could see doing something like that for like a special occasion for a movie that that I have to see in the theater. But I forgot I had Miss Queeb. I forgot I had school bag. Well, why didn't you remember? I was foolish. You were. Given what theaters pay their workers, I would not trust even running out the entire thing. See, and that's that is why we we are here where we are. Haven't eaten out in almost two years. Haven't been to a theater in almost two years. Um, we did go to we we did see a concert the year before, like the October before the pandemic. Um, I, I thank God it was such a great concert. I have fond memories. Um, I still regret not um, not listening and getting used to the album before i went to that big time that's that's a big big loss but it's fine still I think it's still amazing you got vaxxed but won't go out in public just yeah i'm vaxxed we're both vaxxed uh and we're, why, we're why take vaxxed. the risk vaccination and the new fucking strain uh, oh my god the, the vaccine it doesn't mean that you're not going to get sick it just means that you're not going to get as sick and yeah, no way. In, yeah, like we we can't even. I would I would get the booster tomorrow. We can't get it until February 9th. Vaccine makes the virus less miserable, but doesn't cure. Exactly, like it's. Look, I could sit here and I could throw a temper tantrum, and I could be like, you know what, I'm, I'm going out. I'm going to the club. I'm I'm going to go eat at a restaurant with my friends. It's not that I'm scared of dying from COVID, like getting That's COVID how we got and dying. Here in the first place. I'm scared of getting COVID and surviving and having long haul COVID for potentially the rest of my life. So if that means that I have to spend a couple of years not eating at restaurants, eating somewhat decent food, but not really amazing or having a somewhat not spectacular movie experience or even going to a theme park i'm okay with that i watched matrix from the comfort of this chair that i'm sitting in right now it's not very comfortable um i had a great time it, i still thought it was excellent and you didn't get exposed nope Soul of Isaac. yeah but like right now vaxxed wear masks constantly when i leave i have uh hand sanitizer everywhere in my car in my in my handbag at home I am I'm I'm still having panic attacks almost two years later um, before I go into to a place because I hear about just people not getting vaccinated or not wearing mat like I saw someone the other day take down their mask at Target what but, for? Like, they're the smell of candle well, they, they they pulled it down under their chin and walked around. Los Angeles. <laughs> Gru says, yeah, I know a long hauler permanent disability now. Zeph says, I avoided most of my extended family because of the risk. 
Pantheranus is that, and the part where you could get it and not know it and pass it on to others. Melfina says, I got the flu for the first time in my life this year. I was terrified. Juju, hi Juju, says, I tested positive last week and I'm vaccinated. It honestly just feels like a regular cold now, just with a ridiculous cough at times, but it affects everyone differently. Oh, I can't wait for that dude to see the VOD of this video and say, I thought I told you I didn't like to talk about politics. <laughs> you can get it, right? You try living here in Dallas, here in Houston. It's rare to see someone. With... Oh, uh, that's why I haven't gone back. I was supposed to f fly to Dallas in May of last year. Like m my mother's birthday present was for me to, she paid for my ticket to go see her. And uh, when the city went on lockdown, like we actually had like a, we had a thing. It wasn't an argument. It wasn't a tiff. It was just like a thing where she's like, you mean that you're not going to come see me? There's not going to be anyone on the plane. And I'm like, do you, do you like not get it? Like, do you, do you just like, you don't have that part of your brain where you just like, you just don't understand it. Like, I, 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 no. In addition to all of the other shit that Texas is doing right now, on top of that, nobody likes masks. They've just decided that, you know what? Don't care. I'm not going to wear a mask. It's okay. The, the pandemic's over. Tested positive last year. One place I went was work and home. Masked up 100%. Got vaxxed six months ago and booster on Monday. Yes. I'm sorry that you tested positive. Are you like 100% clear now? Do you have any anything going on? Armadillo T. I like that name. Have a good evening. Thank you so much for, for stopping in and saying hello and goodbye to us. Have a good night, my friend. Hi, what a silly username. Panther knows I don't like masks, but I wear them everywhere when I leave the house. Yep, I have some. Uh, I have one that stays in my car, and then I have I just bought like two new packs um, to make sure that I'm like I'm good to go. I've stopped wearing the cloth masks. We only wear the, the medical masks now. I can get my booster in three weeks. Can't wait. Honestly, I honestly wish I could do it now and just get it over with. I'm not noticeable to be honest, but my wife's lungs are in a rough spot since COVID. She got it a lot worse. I found someone on. TikTok. I think their username is Long Holler or Long COVID Holler. She got married last year. Six weeks later, she got COVID. And this was, she got married before the pandemic. Six weeks later, pandemic hit. She got COVID. She has been sick for 600 days. On her good days, she doesn't need to use her oxygen mask that much. On her bad days, she can't walk. Fuck me. Um, so like I said, like, like if, if you're lucky, if you get COVID, you will either have absolutely no symptoms or you will die quickly. Hopefully, hopefully you, you will not have to see, you won't have to go through all of the other bullshit. I know too many people who were active people who, who hiked on weekends for fun, who ran marathons for fun. Like who does that weird psycho people? And now they can't even walk without oxygen. Scary as shit. Definitely not afraid of needles. Honestly, want more tattoos, but now is not the right. Exactly, Zef. Junko says, I have a question for you, Kweeba. I've been debating on getting Isaac, but are there differences of the base game versus having the DLC? Yep. Um, not only is, are, is it about 50% of the content, uh, but it is a lot easier. So that you might like that, but I would still recommend getting the full package and learning the more difficult rooms and enemies and all the rest. Um, yeah, if you can get the full package, do it. Yeah. Um, says the worst thing about this whole pandemic for me was that when my wife was pregnant, I couldn't be there during the scans and stuff. We know a couple where the woman found out that she'd lost the baby. She had to take the news by themselves and then walk out to the car with her partner. Super sad. I'm really sorry for that person. Just, I may be able to afford the base game, but not sure if I can afford the DLC with all that. You know what? Like, if you can only afford the base game, like, like do what you can now. Do what you can now and figure, figure out the rest later. What is the full package, by the way? How much is that? 
I'm, I'm sitting on Steam. I could have just asked the fucking look to myself. Oh, look, do your thing. Isaac and DLCs is massive. My work actually gives out masks to everyone. And they're in a sink says $28. Oh, was I going to do a, a Steam purchase? Should we do that mm -hmm. now, Miss Queeb? Yeah, let's do that, and then I need to go take care of Loaf. I have been way too long, but I've been enjoying myself, so I wanted to hang out with chat. Um, do I still have Steam? It looks like it's not the right size. We can fix that as we go. Here to vape with a friend, and days later he got COVID, felt okay, but still tested, got a negative result. Like his, keep monitoring it, Doma. Make sure that it wasn't a false, uh, a false negative. But yeah, like like I was telling, um, I was talking to chat in pregame that a friend of mine she flew to, um, to see her partner's family. She's extremely immunocompromised, and she was able to, basically, get a lift on on a friend of a friend of a friend's private jet, which that must be nice, um, in order to make sure that she stayed safe. And there was only two or three other people on the plane at the time. And one of them was a little kid and he came around her and he was sniffling and coughing. And she made she made an offhanded joke to her partner, like, if this kid gets me sick after two years, I'm gonna be so pissed. They found out the next day that he did have COVID. No. Yeah. Okay, no. Jeez. And it, it's that's the friend of mine that I told you about that uh, we talked to her her uh, husband about getting uh, getting him a job at your company. That's her. Oh, okay. Like just. Th there's no such thing as too careful right now. There's no like. If anyone wants to come at me and just be like, "Oh, you're being like really." Really? You haven't, like, had, like, a, a dinner out, like, a date night out in two years? No, I haven't, and I'm, I'm still healthy. I don't want to chance it. Like, just with the food, like, the amount of times that I've bitched about restaurants out here. Like, I've only been to one or two restaurants out here and had, like, amazing meals. The rest of them have been passable. Do you think I'm going to gamble my, my long-term health on a subpar chicken parmesan? Really? <laughs> no, I refuse. Sorry, wall of text. That was for the one who asked. How many kitchens are actually wearing masks? And exactly. Um, they did have a. I don't know if it was just California centric, but they did have a um. Some kind of law or 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 something's being passed about how hot the kitchens are right now. Like there, there are new regulations being talked about because they are having to wear masks. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think it might just be in California, but they are trying to at least get the temperature lowered in the kitchens, like like more ACs, more fans, whatnot, just to help out. Oh, thank you. All right, what do we got? Slime Ranch. I'm pretty sure I have Slime Rancher. Okay, so we got that. The witness I have, Lake. I've heard the name. I don't know if... The mailbox game. Let's take you back to 1986. This pretty little town called Providence Oaks. Meredith Weiss lives 3,000 miles away, but she's coming back to her hometown to fill in for her dad, who's a mail carrier. Do you really have it? Two weeks is a lifetime. That's her boss. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. Quite a change from a big city job. You're taking two weeks off to go and deliver? Okay, yep, sounds fun. This is local cat lady, Mildred Jones. Bit of a nosy posy. Interesting.
Oh, she's writing another game down. <laughs> Unpacking? Oh, I bought that yesterday. Yeah. Okay, let me ha see. Have I played Spirit Pharaoh? That's one that was sent to me. I never got around to covering it, I think. Oh, and I had something coming yeah. out. My yeah, I, I can it. pester my brothers for Christmas money to buy the game. Do it, Jenko. Pester them. The point I always hark back to is if even if you don't get personally sick, what you do at the hospitals are full and you get in a car accident. Exactly. Um, I don't know where you are, Suey, but last year um, we had a um, there was an announcement that went out in L.A. County that uh, the ambulances were practicing triage. So there, w there would have been uh, moments where if you if you were starting to have a stroke and you called an ambulance if the ambulance didn't think that you would make it they weren't going to take you to the hospital because everything was full similar to games like firewatch fuck, fucking fuck, delilah fuck delilah fuck that bitch delilah fuck her swear to christ fucking delilah the nonary games what's this zero escape would be nice if they could do some that for the auto industry wearing a mask all day for our assembly line can be tiring i make dog food ha 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 i work around our dryers so agree on the auto part i make parts so around 400 degree machines jesus christ you guys you guys are amazing though for for doing that i know yeah you're doing it for a paycheck but you're doing it so thank you most emotional game ever played the zero escape games are a trilogy thought it might be more than three of them, though. They're really cool if you like the idea of over-the-top escape rooms. Seriously, XMR. Factory workers are amazing. That That is a job that I, I couldn't do. I've done that for a while. I used to work in a cardboard box manufacturing plant. It's still a trilogy. And then another one off from the same team that's cool okay similar to the outer wilds yeah i doubt that somehow <laughs> nine kidnapped strangers here we go the only way out the win the game wow oh, insomnia. Like, a, like a west rock factory i don't know what that is this was in australia mr dallas i, I don't know AI Somnium files. Oh, holy crap, that looks creepy. Play as Detective Konami date as the case of an elusive serial killer in this thrilling sci-fi murder mystery. Uh, this one's a question mark. I'm not sure on that. Okay. It takes two. I think we should get that. Oh, that's right. And I said I was going to get the... One friend recommends against. Cool. Well, no. Game is a lot of fun. Did not know Origin. Fuck off. Did not know Origin was a system requirement. I would have second guessed my purchase. <sighs> well. I never. People get mad about the strangest shit. You know what? I wish I had the opportunity to get that mad over some bullshit. Like, I wish I had absolutely nothing to do except get mad over random ass bullshit. Light Drifter. Murder House is a cool short indie retro horror game. Well, it is a hustle to sell down. I did part-time at Amazon over Christmas a few years ago. Learned quite a lot about how shit gets handled. There are a bunch of people on TikTok that, um, that, that packet, they box things for Amazon. And it's, it's interesting. Like it, it's, do you know those, those, uh, that TV show, like how it's made? And then they used to have the, what was the show on Food Network? Was was it Food Network, How It's Made or something like that? Like they have a version of that. And it's just, 
it's soothing to watch. Mm. And then um, there's a popular concept um, in, uh, at least in the ADHD community, about body doubling. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm. Uh, where it's essentially where, like, let's say that you're over at my house and I need to clean my kitchen and you sit there and I end up, I'm able to get more work done because you're present or vice versa. Basically, it's it, there's having another body present. So what a bunch of people do in the ADHD community is they will, um, they'll do these uh, work hours. So like, it's literally just someone working, like either working at a desk job or even cleaning their kitchen. And they do it so you can sit there and watch them and you can work or you can clean your kitchen because they're doing it. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the witness. I don't know if I could. It's just, it's, it's a lot. What? The witness. What do you mean? It's a lot. It's a lot to figure out. Amazon factory is very close to me. I could walk there, but I could never work there. Yeah, I don't think I could. Um, I mean, I I think I I could if if I were given uh, uh what are they called like accommodations? If I were given accommodations, I could. Like, uh, I've heard from from people that you can't wear headphones, or if you do, they can't be like visible. Um, like everything it is literally like it, it can't be visible yeah is that a safety thing or a fucking I, I, you if you're listening to music you cannot possibly be it's, working it's one of those things oh, um no. yeah someone had uh she had her headphones in when she was on the floor like she she had packed her truck and she was getting ready to leave and she had her headphones in like like her earbuds in and a manager came over to her and told her, hey, you need to take your, your headphones out. And she said, I'm not taking them out. I'm leaving. And so the manager wrote her up. And so and the manager's manager came over and said, yeah, um, manager said you didn't want to take out your earbuds. And the girl's like, why am I going to take out my earbuds? I'm literally about to walk outside. She can't wait for 30 seconds. So she got written up and then she got fired. So she posted a TikTok about it. And then Amazon contacted her to offer her her job back. If if she would take the video down, she's like, fuck you. I'm not taking that video down. Tell her assholes. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. This is the one with the, the cube gun. I remember this one. I have it. Haven't played it, I don't think. So Lake might be worth investigating depends on how much narrative is involved here or tripping lower managers oh, oh I'm absolutely not, I'm not so sure absolutely they don't give a shit ours right up for earbuds here i don't understand why we can't wear one i'll i'll wish list it. i won't purchase it yet um I had someone make a remark. I think it was like my last job or the job before I had an earbud in one ear um, and I was listening to music as I worked and they tried to uh, shame me for wearing headphones. They're like, oh, you're wearing headphones. You have time to wear headphones. <laughs> and I looked at her and I'm like, if I have music to keep my brain occupied, I easily do three times as much work. Would you like me to take the headphone out or would you like it to stay in? It's your choice. It's and... just a story and it took six hours to beat. Okay, I'll probably give it a skip then. What? Like. Why, why are, well, I don't want to give it a skip. Then buy the game. Buy it on your account and then you can play it whenever you want. <sighs> Fine. Jesus. I would be unspeakably snotty in response to someone saying that to me. I I'd fucking quit on the spot. You you know exactly who it was that said it. Yeah. I'd like these cunts that work in these companies that just power I... trip for no reason whatsoever. Oh. Like literally they walk around with two foot long boners about the power trips that they're pulling on people. 
Um, this game here, Weird West, uh, I believe it is Devolver publishing it. Um, yeah. Looks amazing. So that one I'm, I'm super excited about. Lake is on Game Pass for all the people interested in or already have Game Pass. I work better if I had music I could listen to. Uh, a lot of jobs I can't work due to very unfortunate life circumstances and finding it hard to get work in any way. I'm sorry to hear that, Rusty. I hope you find something. From the creators of The Last Stand, Union City, and Dead Zone. I don't know who recommended this or where I got this one from. Uh, comes an all new single player rogue light action adventure you become infected by the zombie virus you set out to explore post-apocalyptic uh, po the po post-apocalypse and find hope for your fellow survivors you can still make a difference and don't give up that one looks all right it looks like it's, there's a few in the, the series maybe this will come down this will come down We're gonna, we ain't got to worry about that just yet Did I check out Grime? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Grime. Played it on stream. High Fleet, I will probably give a, a miss. This one looks um, a little bit too complicated. I think that'll do. I think that's that's a pretty good cart, right? Where'd my cart go? I don't get to my... Okay. Cart. Wait, can you check your message before I forget? Can I take... Sorry, I don't understand. I like it. You want a... I, I want to see the design elements on the hyper light drifter screen. If you could take a screenshot of, of that when it's big, not when it's little. I'll do one better. I will go hyper light drifter wallpaper. Like I haven't already done that. I didn't see it. There's like a bunch of screenshots. It's only the square, not the title screen. Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry. That's don't why worry, I don't worry about that, Miss Queeb. I got you. Cards at the very top of the page. Aha! All right, cool. Yes, yes. I will buy these two, and uh, we can maybe check out one of them. Yesterday, we got a bunch of cool games too. Pretty good. about playing the original top-down fallout games i have there is a apparently a um a better like a new new kind of a unofficial sequel kind of deal Can I take a screenshot within OBS? Is that possible? <laughs> Anyone know? Oh. Oh, I can. No, no, no. Okay. Let me just do this. Miss Creep can edit on Photoshop. Yeah, thank you. This soundtrack is so, so good. Have you tried Gunfire Reborn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on the list. I don't know if Ms. Queep chose it or not. Uh, Wilder Myth is another one that I want to try out. Um, but that was sort of not on the, the, the main list that um, that I gave you. Thank you for sending that to me. I appreciate it.
Duff. Uh, I think I did. Hold on. Let me go back. Folks, give me a sec. I'm going to run a quick commercial, go grab another drink, and I will be right back. Yes, I will take care of chat. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. I'll leave you on this screen then. All right, thank you. I see cats. I, I do love some Maine Coons. I do love big cats. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Look at them. They're dressed for Christmas. I can't dress low for Christmas. I'm very sad about that. He would look so dapper, like dressed as, as like, I don't know, like, like even a Santa. Yes, please, 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 please. I'm thinking about, um, I sometimes do this game on Facebook and I love it. It's so fun. It, it's such a serotonin boost. Um, you, uh, you post a picture of your pet, but you don't tell me the pet's name because I'm going to name your pet for you. I will tell you what name your pet should have. And it, it it's always stuff like, like Sir Winston the Great or Atticus or something like, it's fun. It's it it's it's baby fun. It's quiet fun. And there's monkey with that damn dolphin. I can't believe he's in Mexico. He would abandon us like that and just go to Mexico. Who would do that? Who would abandon us to go to Mexico? Please, everybody raise your hand. Abandon us. Please go to Mexico. Bylim, that snake, that's a baby. That, that's a real baby with real feelings. Melfina, that cat. Your cat should be named Florence. Look at her, Florence. Or like Madame Quimby. And nobody knows what her first name is. Like all little kids think that her first name is Madam because they don't understand. Oh my god, the second one. Look at them. I just love them. They're so cute. Madam. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I went to the bar with some coworkers, and one of them said their friend went to Mexico and got kidnapped by a gorilla group and chopped her brother's testicles. What? Like in real life? So they were saying avoid Mexico like the COVID plague. I have four. I'll trickle them. No, go for it. Please, by all means, spam. They were saying avoid Mexico like the COVID plague. Yeah. I think right now just avoid everything. Like I had to drop out of a couple of groups uh, that had like like dozens of thousands of, of members because they were talking about, well, do you, do you think it's safe to go to Vegas right now? For, for a bachelorette party. It's very, it's very important. She's never been married before. It's like, you know what? If you think you should fly to Vegas in an airplane during a pandemic, I, I think you should go to Vegas. You get what you get, girl. You get what you get. I used to work at a, at Depot as a security guard. We we're shorthanded for some reason. They would not hire more people. So the manager wanted us to be, oh, hold on. It's scrolling. Be in the server room with all the cameras monitored in the shop while we ate during our lunch. But holy shit. I refused. The manager went out of his way to find me and stand behind my back shouting and saying he'll beat me. What? That guy. Like I've had the opposite problem happen. Um, I didn't really notice it happening anywhere else, but it, it's like it, it has only happened here in California where um, they they want you to go to lunch and come back from lunch as quickly as possible. And they are very like, like they will nickel and dime your minutes. Like, uh, and, and they always start to like, like it's if, if you work during your lunch break, you're you're breaking you're breaking the law and then like the time theft bullshit like they're they're oddly turned on by it i believe that's what i would say i have covid my kids have had covid should we cancel or should we go to disney world i'm i'm i am so done 
I've had two friends that their weddings got canceled. Their big weddings got canceled because of, of fucking COVID. And they just like, thank God I have such mature friends. And they just, they, they took it on the chin. They're like, you know what? That's fine. We, we lost the money for those deposits. We don't get to see our friends. You know what? That's fine. And they just, they dealt with it. And there are people who are just raising up such a fucking stink. A friend of mine posts to Twitter pics of Disney fanatic Facebook groups, group discussions. Like, oh my God, I believe it. If the... Look, if there were some way to ensure that I could go to Disneyland with like, like minimal people there and they like, they walk around in front of me and behind me sanitized, like even if there was a way that they could guarantee my safety, like my medical safety at Disneyland, I'm still not going to go. Like, by the way, did Queeb win payout still pending? No. So they really need you. I, um, the last job I had, uh, my shift was 6.30 to 3.30. Uh, they wanted me to ensure, Queeb, are you muted? I am. Yes. They wanted me to ensure that um, that I was that I was upstairs, and, and it was like this this like weird thing. Like I couldn't just go into the office; I had to be buzzed into the office. So I couldn't be at the door to go into the office at six thirty. I had to be at the door to be buzzed into the office at like six twenty twenty five, and then buzz. And they wanted me at my desk at six thirty, like. So worried about fucking uh, time theft and all this shit. Meanwhile, my time is being wasted sitting down in the parking garage because I can't go up to be buzzed into the, the building yet. Mm. Just ugh, over it, over it. I shortened it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Melfina. I once got written up in a tech support call center for McDonald's, seven hour call for a location that was totally unable to trade at all to being able to work and process orders. The reason, even though the supervisor wouldn't take over the call and because I couldn't hang up, I got written up for not taking my breaks or lunch on time because I was on the phone doing my job. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Mm. Too many people are too concerned about whether the seat is warm turn out to be the people who are incapable of managing to understand whether the work is getting done or not. Sue is absolutely correct. Yep. There's a guy on, on TikTok. He runs a, a, a sewage company or something out in the Midwest. I don't know where. Um, and uh, he, he brought somebody on and the guy completed his work in six hours right and he's been so conditioned to be paid by the hour and not paid by the project he'd completed a, a full work work day and the boss paid him and he said why would i you know you've you've done your job you you fulfilled that commitment i was so refreshing to see all right we ready to go with hyper light hyper stifer light drifter x Yes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. I need to go take care of Loaf. Uh, I've been trying to say that for like an hour and a half, and I'm I'm just dragging it out. So I'm going to go hang out with him. I will come back. Please have fun with Hyper Light Drifter. Please give me your comments about the game. I would love to know um, because I, I'm curious. Like with most of these games, I I haven't played them. And I usually pick them based on like the description or what the thumbnail looks like or gameplay or whatever. So. If, uh, if you want to see more of something, or if you want to see less of something, let me know so I know what to pick. I will, uh, I will see you guys here momentarily. I love you all. Goodbye. Mr. Dallas, in the U.S., wage theft is the number one form of theft, yet it isn't a crime and people just let it happen. I think... Right, I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, we don't disagree on that. Okay. 
Uh, is this a is this a mouse game? Let's have a look. Oh wow. Settings and controls. I'll probably go controller. Yes, controller is allowed. Maybe. The buttons work at least. Do I have to do something funky here in Steam? I think so. Standard co-op. Co co-op? Oh shit. There we go. Third party controls. Uh, I don't know what that means. There we go. But it's not accepting. I gotta do something in Steam. Ah, fuck. Yep, that's completely mismapped at the moment, which is weird. Doesn't have default um, Steam controls. Kind of, kind of weird. Uh, what is it? Properties, controller, PlayStation enabled. Let's enable Steam input, I think. Or disable, disable Steam input, maybe. Yeah, that's it. Try that again. Time to big picture mode? Yeah, we'll see. No, fixed already. Okay. So yeah, this is my first time playing this game. Let's give it a shot. Newcomer, a more forgiving challenge. Certain achievements are disabled. Standard, intended challenge level, all achievements unlockable. This certain achievements disabled? That pisses me off. That that really annoys me. Um, not Not just for this game. It's like, it's so bizarre that they would limit unlocking achievements to a higher difficulty level if you if you heaven forget forbid if you put that back to a, a slightly easier mode or whatever for whatever reason and we can include accessibility in that you're going to disable achievements pisses me off anyway enter name well does McQueeb. fairly common it is yeah it is Ah, yes, the four cubes of power. A lot of power. Is that me? That's me. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's a nice mix of very stilted still frame animation in the background and the motion of the embers on the front of the screen. I really like them. The sound is just... Pixel art is is just as much of an art form as, as anything high res and, and massively rendered. In fact, sometimes more difficult to get it done right. Regarding what was brought up a little bit ago, um, the legendary edition Halo or, you know, legendary difficulty Halo completion to an an achievement. I got no problem with that at all. That's fine. Make Make the achievements as hard as you want to get disabling achievements for people that may or may not be able to play the game on your supposed default difficulty. Nah, go fuck yourself. Like, it's, a, it's an entirely optional thing in the first place, right? Ob obtaining achievements. But if you class them out of, of people... Uh, from class them out of availability from people uh, that's just unfair and not nice so I can't pet my dog that's not that's not a dog it's a little robot thing okay Like, because, because completing Halo on Legendary... Legendary is fucking bullshit to begin with, but that's a, that's, that's a different conversation. But completing it is an achievement. Um, Alright, so we took something. We picked up health, I guess. Am I feeling better now? L1 to heal. Got it. Understood. Hide until your shields recover and then get sniped by a jackal anyway. Look. I don't mind the respawning enemies so much, but the it's it's all to do with damage and that's that's the weakest way to implement a difficulty system is just increasing enemy damage or lowering the damage you that you output or the damage that you can take um, it, it's just it's weak it's it's a very simplistic way to implement that Whee! You like playing games at first on baby modes because your brain takes a bit more learning. I've I've played games entirely on easy mode, um, and I've had a great time doing it. Uh, Outer Wilds. I disabled the in the DLC. I disabled the scares, which makes the. I'm not going to say too much, but it makes that 
certain sections of the game much, much more manageable for somebody, especially someone with, um, with anxiety like myself. Oh, you fight back. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not just going to stand there and let you hit me. That's a bit dumb. Agreed. triangle to ping the ha the HUD. Oh, okay. So that's just letting you know the UI disappears after a while and you need to bring it back if you want to check stuff. A lot of fr devs frankly don't understand how fun works. Um, and there is a sense of arrogance. Somebody mentioned that earlier as well. Um, it's like, well, I've created this art. If you don't enjoy it the way I enjoy it, um, I don't, I don't want, I don't want you playing my, I don't want you playing my game. Hold triangle to take items. We has gun. Limited ammunition. Can I reload that? Oh, okay. Looks like a consumable. L2, aim, R2, shoot, right? Got that. Oh. Perfect. What happens if we run out? Too bad. Slash enemies and objects to charge guns. Aha, uh -huh, okay. The sensitivity. I need to recalibrate my controller, I think. This is wild. Okay, well, at least they allowed that to happen. All right, settle down. Power down. Power up. going you've locked me from going back that way and let me guess no all right Zeph, no sweat, dude. Take it easy. You're a huge FromSoft stan, and you wouldn't want them to change how they make games. I think that's a deeper discussion. Not mm, The difficulty of Souls Likes has been debated for a long time.
Get him. Can you pet the bird? I don't know. Can you kill the bird? Doesn't have difficulty sliders? No. You're, you're very right. This is, I mean, that's one of the reasons I didn't like Sekito was because um, I couldn't level my character. In Dark Souls, if I beat it, if I come across a boss that I've tried a couple of times, I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I'll just level and, uh, and play it out. I love the fact that there's a border around the screen. That's That doesn't get done in video games these days. I don't know why that is. Oh no, it's the plague. Might want to get up, dude. And that's it. That's that's hyper light drift. <laughs> Lack of weapon variety? Yeah, the fact you didn't have builds, really. And you know what I mean when I say that. If you know, you know. Um, this is this is my office? Fuck no, I just woke up in a strange place. I'm gonna smash it to bits. Ah. Uh. We need a key. Hologram time. Oh, well. I only got two options here. Looks like we have uh, upgrade or, or passive upgrades. Maybe. Maybe it's skill-based. I don't know. Sui Run. It's the same reason why I much prefer the later 2D Castlevania games to the originals. Um, it's because if I, I... I can farm, and I'll have a good time doing it, even though it's fucking repetitive and boring as shit. Look at that! A real mirror in a real video game. Amazing. Hey, Undying. So we're looking for a triangle. Interesting, they both seem to have, both confirm and back out seem to have the same result there. I didn't quite get that, what was going on there. Pyromancy in DS1. Right, same as, same as magic in, in uh, Demon Souls. Super strong. Like, I, I watch people play really, really difficult games. I watch Man vs. Game play... Oh god, what was it? 
He's playing Noita at the moment. Um, but prior to that, he was playing another game I watched. Not like the Jump King and meme games, which he fucking suffered through. I was uh, the Ghost and Goblins remake. And I'm just like... And he's playing on the hardest difficulty. Because he's, I think he's a completionist a little bit as well, I think. And... Uh, uh, I, I, no, I would have given up fucking a long time ago. Come back here, you little shit. Doge! Where, where is Doge? Also stressful sometimes. It's, it's fun watching other people play, like... But I was starting to get, as a viewer, I was starting to get frustrated for him. And I, I lost my enjoyment of the stream as a result. Now some people... Some people, you know, they, they love that type of content and... The frustration, especially with man, man vs. Game, he's not shy to say how he feels. Um, it it might add to the entertainment factor, especially for long-time viewers, but... Uh... Oh wait, can I dash across that? Let's try. Uh, kind of, yep. We got some kind of fucking node. All right, we gotta work out what what that is for. It's a very pretty square. Okay. Small problem. I can't get back now. Yeah, you ain't got to tell me to heal. I know how to heal. Oh, hold up. Should I not have gotten here? Alright, there we go. I don't know if that was intended. What would you say, uh, Reaper, what would you say the the most difficult game you've played is? I, I don't know if I could answer that. That's a, that's a very difficult question. Explosive barrel, cool, yep, yep, we're, we're learning, we're definitely learning. NES Battletoads? Would you, would you say that gamers have changed... So, in the 80s, right, gamers' minds and gamers' expectations were different, I think. And yes, the game was hard, but at the same time, you would, you would play it, because it's probably the only game you owned, or maybe you were renting it, or whatever. And you would play it and play it until you struggled through that section. These days, there's there's just too much competition, right? Old ga games were hard because they were also in, in our case to take your money. True.
Oh, this is cool. It's a floating waterfall. It's the same pattern as the partial square we got earlier. Friendly. Oof, that's a hell of a way to travel. Okay. Our first boss, maybe. What's on molasses cookies? Um, what's what's a molasses cookie? Aha! This is fucking brutal, yeah, okay. I thought I could repel their shuriken. I could not. Or at least not yet. So if you're talking about an oatmeal cookie, which is made with molasses, I am 100% down. to call the elevator. Yeah, leave the raisins out. You can you can leave the raisins anywhere but in the cookie. Um and it, and you've got yourself a perfect. Um Australians will know something called an Anzac cookie, which is Anzac is the name given to uh, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. So essentially our our military and uh it was during World War One, I, I believe. I don't know, my history kind of sucks. I blame my history teacher for that. He was a dickhead. Um, but they, they made these cookies that were sort of... Uh, became an Australian tradition, and they're really fucking great. Okay, so we've got an elevator down. Fairy bread and hundreds and thousands. Wait, what's hundreds and thousands? I, I do know. Well, I should. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. That's the sprinkles you put on fairy bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> uh, wait, you want to... You're not going to let me alt-tab now? Oh, come on. Is 
That's fucking weird. Mouse and keyboard can take over control from controller, but you can't get it back just by pressing another button. It was said earlier this game's quite a little bit, well, a few years old at least, but still. Modern sensibilities and all that, right? Oh, hell yeah! Alright, so now we have a square and a triangle. Understood. We have one fourth. We have one sixteenth of the main gate puzzle. Chocolate chip cookies would be perfect if they didn't have the chocolate chips in them. I know this is probably controversial, but the just the dough. But it's not it's not sugar cookie dough, it's not like vanilla dough, I don't know. It's chocolate chip cookie dough without the chocolate chips. Just remove them for me, one at a time. <laughs> Just cookies, yeah. <laughs> so these are teleport pads, right? Warp here anytime using the map. There you go. And how do we get to said map? Cool. Now, when you say anytime, do you mean anytime? You do. Do I not like chocolate? Are you kidding? <laughs> I fucking adore it. But uh, what I'm t what I'm talking about. Is um is is just better than a chocolate chip cookie, that's all. This is giving me heavy Titan Soul vibes. Anyone jive with that? I mean both visually and and uh navigating. Same devs. Oh, okay. Well, that would make a lot of sense then. Oh, rip. Something fell on you, guys. Fucking hell. I got no health. Alright, well, you're... Oh, there's some. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Seems dodging does not give me immunity. I have to double test, but... Nah. Okay.
checkpoint system. All right. Gun is fully charged. Unforgiving. I can see why souls like. See, that's that's another thing as well. Just because the game's hard doesn't make it a souls like. Just because the game has boss fights doesn't make it a souls like. Ah, uh, Reaper posted in Discord, dude. Um, you can post it in the food. We have a food one? I think we do. Food. Yes. Channel called food. I need the ability to return shots. I need it ASAP. Second cube, whatever the fuck that's for. Damn. Can you shoot your friend? No. That's it, come on. Second quadrant, yep. I can jump down, that's dope. Fuck you. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, okay. I have a ranged weapon, did I forget? I'll let you reword that one. I certainly didn't.
Did he just do a, a coup de grace there? <laughs> he just like stabbed his sword into the ground. I um, I don't want to use a gun. I'll use it to open buttons on the other side of uh, chasms. That's what I'll use that for. I don't want to go the yeah, we got dead bodies floating or something floating. Do I need a red red key? We got something. I just unlocked something. What is that? Still can't select it. I didn't get extra health. You think that unlocks the door? Symbol doesn't align. Can you pet the dog? That dog you may not want to pet. Is he T-posing? Oh, he's on the ground. My, my bad, he's not standing up. go down and select that which is interesting I can't can't select anything other than these two here oh we're getting close Look for the weak point, stab it. the same symbol I think different symbol I'm 
some kind of inscription tablet. All right. Well, whatever it if whatever it was, we unlocked it. The whole game, I'm getting Titan Souls feels, and and that's unusual because I didn't actually enjoy Titan Souls. Maybe because it was just bosses over and over and over again. Ti Titan Souls, whatever. Had the word Souls in it. It is pouring down outside. So if we drop, if the internet goes, we'll know why. I'll I'll just watch the Matrix again. I'm I'm okay with that. It's fine. That looks like the key slot that we need for the red door. Uh, now the question is, do I go back and unlock that first before we progress? Might be a bad idea. Wrong color? That's... 
that's the kind of thing I want to learn by myself. If if that is indeed true. It would have been a two minute exploration journey and it would have clicked immediately. I still haven't updated that command, Dallas. I'm still hesitant to, in fact. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Need to find some turkeys, bring them over here. This is fucking ludicrous. I got I got to calibrate this. Okay, so we can't collect that. Can I save and quit? 4 minutes since last save appears when progress is saved. All right, not yet. Too much too much playing Isaac. It's it's warped my controller. Go, look at that. Cool. Easy enough. Um, I should probably exit out. Give me a sec, folks. Let me. Gotta go big picture mode here. Uh, settings. Controller settings. Uh, PlayStation 5. Calibrate. Yeah, it's shaky as fuck. So what do we do here? Start full auto calibration. Trackpad, joystick, or accelerometer performance. Push the left, left joystick to a side and let go. It's changing the dead zone as well as the sensitivity. Wow, that's... It looks like I've... Uh... Oh, it's still shaky as hell. What, what the... What the... Cancel that. Do that again. It's just ad adjusting the dead zone, which is fine. I may have to get another one. The right stick is completely fine. Yeah, that's heavy usage of Isaac. I'd say that would affect that somewhat.
Calibrating IMU. Hey Ashwood, how you doing? Are you doing it? You are. Okay. Calibration completed. Left stick dead zone lockout. No, it's the directional that's the problem. I may have to send this one back, get another. That's fine. Just something else I have to do. Exit big picture mode and go back into the game. Made with Game Maker Studio. We need another triangle. Friendly. The rat dogs were chased out of town by the frog dogs. Or captured. Or worse. Became slaves to the frog dog people. Okay. Another cube. Is this the opposite side of where we were? Same kind of device, isn't it? Or structure. Where it came up? No. Yes, but the power's off? Or no, not at all. Elevator up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the way we came earlier. Interesting that the lights were off. the game's way of telling us that we have been in a location. Hmm. Because we took the triangle? Maybe. No one else needs it, right? Like, we're good. It's good so far. It's, it's 
it's a game that I probably wouldn't normally play. Um, it's it's lacking a lot of the things I prefer in games. I guess seems to be like leveling up and you know variety of different weapons and stuff, which I'm sure will come with time. But um, yeah, the closest thing that I likened it to so far is Titan Souls. Has anyone played Eldest Souls, by the way? That's another game that I have in my library, I think. Flick a switch or defeat enemies. Elder Souls is boss rush. Right. Then I probably... Yeah, see, I probably won't even play that. I need another triangle to get in there. Light's still on in here. So we still haven't got that container as well. Oh, there's something else over there. Hang on. Reminds you of Moonlighter? That's come up more than once tonight. We were talking about Moonlighter earlier. Um... See, Moonlighter is a game I I think I played and I, I stopped playing for whatever reason. And I think it's because the grind got too much for me. That's a bit better. Okay. We definitely can't collect it. All right. Where was that other device? I think over there somewhere. barbecue here hmm all right yep still active and triggered by pressure whoops forgot about that We lack whatever ability, either an extended dash or grapple or water walk or who fucking knows. All right. Maybe I'm not ready to do this section yet. Oh, don't do that.
Yeah, we have to lower the barricades because then I can dash to a bunch more places as well. More than three? Maybe. There's another four. Which equals another movie ticket. How were the Isaacs runs yesterday and today? Uh, streak is at one right now. It's not really a definitive answer, but um, should give you some indication. run yesterday that ended the streak. It was a troll bomb that did me in. I think I, I like the most about this is the the visuals and the and the sound. Really good. There's our other triangle, I think. A lot of hits. Oh. 
No, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the triangle. Okay, so now we can open that door upstairs. And hopefully we'll see what platform's got to lower and see if we can extend through to somewhere else. Not that way. Looks like it was just door control for that room. If the dash gave us uh, iframes, that'd be pretty fucking sick, I gotta say. Yesterday's game was uh, Senua's Sacrifice. They're really thoughtful of the controls as well. Um, the fact that it stops a dash when you hit an object you can stand on is really cool. Lily pad? No way. Yeah way. Okay. Almost look like fingers. It is. It is the fingers of the the hulking behemoth. going that way. Fuck.
Yeah, again, he stabs the, the ground. Uh huh. Yeah, the enemy, um, I don't mind a couple, but if you're not going to give me iframes for rooms literally filled with enemies, that's, that's tough. That's really tough. Juked you straight into the water. gonna have to get back to the oh shit i can just port back there can i yep Meg agreed with the Zazel, right on. So my my recommendation when it comes to greed, the rewards for beating greed and greedier are essentially the same. And you'll have a much easier time beating greed mode. And to top that off, you need to fill up the donation machine right right the way, the whole way. Thousand thousand coins, right? Um well I think you only need to get to nine ninety nine. But the more you use a character, the less likely, or sorry, the more likely the machine's going to break as you're donating. So choose half a dozen and cycle between them. Should be called Hyperlight Dasher, am I right? That's a hand. Okay. Another movie ticket. Alright. Ooh, a little bit tired today. Amazing what a month of uh, 12 hour streams will do to a person. Later, Ashwood, take it easy. Okay. 
hi. Oh, you weren't here before. Ordinary vacation for the next 10 days? Dude, that's dope. Time to celebrate. They're explosive, by the way. If an old TikTok video ever taught you anything, slam energy drinks or some nonsense to be unreasonably caffeinated. It's weird. Caffeine, I know for a fact it, it does affect me. I think, it, I think it affects my sleep. But in the moment, I don't feel more alert or energized or anything like that. Hide behind the explosive barrel, okay. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. There you go. This game's, uh, one of its, its hallmarks is the, the soundtrack. It's known for that. I ain't got heels, dude. Need to go and farm some, although they don't seem to re... Thanks. They don't seem to regenerate. Ninja frogs? Uh, ninja frog dogs, I think is the, the term we're going with, yeah. So there you go. The statement earlier, the key color is wrong, is incorrect. We have a key. We could have opened that door. We need three keys to open this one. Now I understand how the key system works. What would I say so far about this game? It's beautiful. It plays quite nicely. Still dislike very much not having uh, iframes on my dash. I think that's, it could have benefited greatly from that. Um, it's a mess. Map wise, it's a mess. There's, personal perspective but there's there's no way for me to really keep track where i've been um where i need to go i mean yes it, i think in the in the grand scheme of things that is true but i'm gonna die i think And these rooms can just fuck off, period.
Like, we, we'll know where we have been and where we haven't been. Maybe not by looking at the map. Nope, everything's the same color. We know where we can teleport to. A lot of it's got to do with memory, I think. But specifically, that one door we haven't been to... I'm going to have to go look for that now. Memory is, is what I'm going to have to use. movie ticket that's dope make that half a movie ticket somebody gave it away earlier they said it was well they didn't say it but they they said it was cash currency i see, I see everything folks i see it all Yeah, CK, um, I, I didn't want to know that stuff. I'm, I'm going to update those commands tonight, and we'll, we'll just have to fucking make it a general rule. No backseating, period. This one is uh, monster frog, monster tr tree frog? Question mark. Cool. with the skinned and impaled bodies people that stepped out of line there's a cooldown on my dash too that's not insignificant wow <laughs> no achievement for that we we are in achievement mode right Oh yeah, it's just, it undoes. Okay, stun lock to death. Cool, cool, cool. Predictable, yes. The cycle is, is I think I've already got down. Positioning, I have not. <laughs>
fuck off. Same Panthenos, yeah. Yeah, it's it's brutal. Um, next to no iframes. All right, one quarter of the game done, or at least one quarter of the first door. Are we sure we want to reactivate the four pillars again? I mean, it didn't seem like it was a good idea last time. Upgrade time. Swap guns. Lame. Yeah, do a no hit sword run. That'd be pretty dope. All right, now we have to go back and find the four key, which we did unlock earlier. Oh, I'm sick again. Never mind. The game was harder when it came out. So many people complained that the dev w went back and made it easier. Oh, they're, they're just giving in to weak-minded people. Get good. Maybe the game was too hard. Oh, that's just dumped me outside. All right. I was hoping for uh, some kind of passive upgrade, maybe a new cape, an ability. The ability to chop down trees would be cool. We'll take that. The fucking, the term get good, it pisses me off so, so much. And I know it was popularized amongst the Souls community. Uh, it was close to here, I think. Can we even see it on the map? No, see, this is my point. There's no way to know. Oh, hold on. Oh. Stuff we may have missed, you can identify, but this is the underground section, I guess. Okay. It's more of an FPS thing. Oh, really, Junko? I, I thought it was Souls. Kenai, that's the that's the number one reason I love the the Souls games is the grinding factor, the fact that I can. Spend time and, and get better and fucking spend four hours farming souls at the at the uh the undead dude in Where's the original map? How do I get back to that? That one. So now we have to work out what the symbols represent. Just point of interest, you've you've 
left something behind, maybe. The fuck was that door? It is possible to beat Dark Souls with a level 1 character, though. Sure. Sh sure, of course. That's what challenge runs are for. There's the, there's the triple door. Let's try going back this way. Happy Hob's done a few... Uh, maybe it wasn't Happy Hob. Maybe it was Lobos... Um, but one of them, one of them did a SL1 no hit run. And they're, they're wonderful to see as well, but you are talking about the smallest minority in the smallest subsection of players to design a game solely around that you're kidding yourself if you think it's going to sell well oops feel free to tell me where we saw that door by the way that, that I don't mind especially if I ask direct It was a four triangle door. I just can't remember where it was. Further up, middle ish. Doesn't tell me jack shit. Infinite patience is the dedication. Oh, 100%. Uh, Miss Queen, what you, what you got there? What you got there? I don't know if I want to see. Well, I was going to say it smelled like cat food, but then I was, I was questioning whether or not it was something you made for yourself. No, no, human food. You, I don't think you could make human food smell like that. Well, apparently I just did. So thank you. That's why I was questioning it. That and if it was good, I was going to ask for some, but it's fine. It's dog, you it's dog food. Some. No, I'm good. I'm you really good. What? Stop. I can't. <laughs> From the teleport, go right and up. It's the door on the stairs. I uh, can't survive this. Do they regenerate? Because I don't. No, they don't. That's cool. Too far? The door that was down below? This one? 
this leads to the section with the, the quad door? Alright, we'll check it out. Now we're into fun territory. I didn't want to use a gun. I want to do a sword only run. It's not a quad door. It's an octo door. Got it. So we can either do that in parts and then come back, or alternatively, um, beat an entire section and come back. Can I not teleport back to the beginning? Okay, there's a there's a quality of life suggestion. If you have a cube of meat, can you have another because it's showing as an item and you already have it? Yes, you can. Yeah, there's four levels of cube of meat. That's the thing with Isaac as well. Like I, I will look up um, uh, item synergies now, mainly to protect uh, protect runs. For example, today I should have looked up Emilacria and uh, Ludo, but I didn't, and Hemolacria just overrides Ludo, which is a big sad. Here's our shops. Weapons, swords. Not swords, moves. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's what I wanted. Oh, a dash? A dash cut. Either of those would be great. 
Mm, going back to what I was saying, yeah, just just experiment. Just pick up pick up everything for a while, and and you'll find certain items you don't want to take anymore. Certain ones will work with others. Certain won't. Um, but your your early days, so just get just get a feel for the game. Probably should have got that first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably should have got that first. Make a note of how many you need. Everything's three. We have one. Can't break anything. Where do we want to go? I said to go north first. I think that was just a suggestion though. Or or even a uh, kind of a upgrade gun, upgrade fucking who knows what. Oh, grenade bomb. That's two. Look at that. Need 12 keys for that door. Our boss, Oh, whoops. Three keys required.
Music's great. Can I just attack the guy? No, my sword is not allowed to come out in this room. Alright. He's frozen. I could break him out. Probably already dead. We're going to make it one, one more shot and I might have myself an early night. Oh my god.
Another eight piece door. It seems that boxes are only designed to refill um refill your weapon, right? I think that uh, I don't think random loot or anything it's worth while breaking unless you need bullets. They can contain health pickups. Well, that's even more odd because of the fact that you can't farm for them. They don't regrow. Really dropped the ball on that triple dash before. get to that yes they're all defined odd considering you could find yourself in a situation where you don't have enough health to continue right Yes, and you put yourself there. That's a no-hit win because of that. I disagree with that philosophy. But I'm not a designer. I need to preface that every time, or, or clarify, rather. Elevator? Maybe?
prison cells? Yeah, looks like it, huh? Two movie tickets. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so removing the key does turn the lights out. Um, which is interesting because you can't put the key back, which tells me that that just lets you know. That's that's just an indicator to say you've collected it. It doesn't change anything gameplay-wise, including locks, which are powered. What did we learn today? Yeah, that's a different section. So that means we need to pick up another four keys in each of the previously visited zones. Well, the, the only visited zone.
good weapon. The shotgun. I like it. Having a rough day here. Doggo. Hey, it's the guy. Wait, did he just kill the dog? Sick too. He's got he's got the the plague. All right, three keys. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna rest up good because uh, this last three weeks has taken it out of me. Let's see if we can raid anyone this evening. Oh, Hyper Stifer still going right on. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of a rough bridge, but doable. Just got to be patient. Folks, thank you so much for uh, hanging out this evening. Uh, Hyper Light Drifter. Take care. I will see you again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Alrighty. Bye-bye.